What's up, everybody? Thanks for, for being here again for another Legendary Marvel Randomizer stream. You might notice some changes here. I've, ma I've worked on a couple of things to make the stream a little more interesting, so today is going to be all about finding out what in the world goes wrong with what I've set up. So, not only are you watching for me to make mistakes during the game, but you're also trying to see what breaks in my setup here. <laughs> It'll be fun. I was having trouble with the most recent subs and follows buttons down there, so we'll see if they stay correct or they get weird. Uh, hi, everybody, for joining. What's up, Dre, Kevin, Full Monty, Matt, Sharangan? Matt, thanks for finally joining. It's going to be a, a good one. So what you can't see is over there to the right, I have my uh, organized boxes set up, so the setup should go pretty quickly. Um, if you're new to this stream, basically what we're doing is we're going to randomize an entire game of Legendary. I'm going to randomize it on the spot. I'm going to set it up as fast as I can, and then I'm going to try to beat it. Um, I've eliminated only the setups that I've used in these live streams so far. Everything else is going to be things I have not used uh, when it comes to masterminds and schemes, that, that is. And then I have a couple of special effects that will pop up as we go. Um, what's up, Urza? Thanks for following, by the way. I caught your follow a few hours before the stream. So let's see. Uh, what tricks do I have? Uh, I'm going to open up our... Yep, there's a... Oh, there it is. Okay, there's our randomizer. So I got a... Uh, over the holidays, as a gift, I got a, um, a stream deck, which is... Uh, I'll show you. It's my little... My little set of buttons that I can use during the game. So check it out. I'm going to go to... Um, I'll just show you a teaser. Let me press recruit here. <laughs> it, <laughs> it recruits. So we will see... If that's going to be useful today. And there's my speedrunner. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize a setup right here. So this is your chance. I'm going to give you guys about a minute to make a prediction as to what character is going to show up in the setup. Last time we got, um, we did an Xmas stream and I got a full X-Men list of characters and House of M scheme and it was a, it was a nightmare. The end stream one here. The end stream one just goes to the, the the screen that you'll see when the stream is ending. It's the transition between now and the ending. Okay, I guess your characters. So Full Monty says Captain America. Before I ha I have to click this assemble button over here. But otherwise, yeah, you'll see. You'll see at the end. If you stick around, you'll see it. It'll just say stream's over. So those two buttons at the bottom there are um, right here. Are People watching on Twitch and people watching on YouTube will see which one is stronger today. Who can win? Also, if you want your name to go up here, just uh, let's see if I can do this. Subscribe, follow, or f uh, Facebook's also follow, and your name should pop up as the most recent. We'll see if that works. And I got a fancy new logo. It's all great. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Captain America, Thanos, Scar, Captain America, Falcon. Okay, uh, last chance to put a guess in before I randomize this thing. All right, Katie Pride, Wolverine. Wolverine's a good guess. There's a ton of them. All right, here we go. I'm going to run the randomizer in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, interesting. Did anybody get anything? This is going to be difficult. All right, let me go ahead and assemble this. I don't think anybody said anything that was here. I'm not noticing. All right, let me start my... Uh, there we go. Okay, I generated this. I'm still looking at it. All right. Let me go retrieve my card. Let's see what I got. Okay, the Hydra High Council. Oh, it's going to be one of those. Interesting. Here they are. Let me put them down here. Hydra. Yeah. More transforming. Just what I needed. And then... This is the scheme that has all the different masterminds in the thing, right? They're all... I almost remember this one. Yeah, I get Gorgon a lot. I don't know why. This is supposed to be totally random. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, where is Master of Tyrants? 
Oh my gosh, what if I can't find it? Put it in the wrong place? Well, I'll come back for that. Okay, what do I got? I got Hydra Elite as my villains. Okay, there's one. And then Monster Metropolis. As my second villain group. And the Shi'ar Patrol Craft. I used those guys recently. Okay, there's three. Oh, we got seven and seven tied uh, viewers on Twitch and Facebook, or, or YouTube. I can't tra track the Facebook views, so we'll see. All right, what's next? Okay, so what do I need for the, okay, it's over here, special cards. Shuffle the 12 tactic cards of three masterminds listed under. Oh, they go into their own deck, tyrant villains. All right, Mole Man Mysterio Grandmaster, got it. Of course it had to be Mysterio. And here. Okay, here's our Tyrant Villains. I gotta get rid of the main cards, but that's fine. Now Hulk, Gorgon, and Silk. Silk's gonna be weird in this one. That's, that's, I have to deal with it. Okay, there's Hulk. Gorgon. There's Silk. Put her up here. Karma and Cannonball. Okay. Interesting combination. Okay, I've got everything I need except for the scheme. For some reason, I can't find the scheme, but I'm going to keep looking. Okay, so it's Master of Tyrants from Secret Wars. Okay, so these are my M's to some things. I don't think Master of Tyrants is in here, though. Maybe I put it in the wrong place. Let's see. As soon as I find that, I can start. No. So. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin. I think I'll find it. It might have just been misfiled. I have the scheme sorted alphabetically, so maybe I just dropped it in the wrong place. If you see it, let me know. I'm looking. Corrupt. No, no. These are A to C or D. Nope. What in the world? I have. I'm hoping I'm done now. But it's like, this is the one scheme that I can't find. Okay, last chance. I'm looking in H. Oh, I found it. It was in the wrong uh, section. <laughs> That's okay. I have it now. All right. That's all the scheme stuff, and I can press this. Okay, I gotta place those. All right, let's get this ready. Here is the scheme, and okay, so for the mastermind, let me just confirm what I gotta do here. Let me hide this. Okay, um, yeah, choose three other masterminds to shuffle their 12 tactics into the villain deck. So the regular mastermind is regular mastermind. Urza, that's my nightmare. I once dropped my entire big box full of stuff and I had to resort the whole thing out because there's really no easier way to do that. Okay, so the Hydra High Council is as is. So they stay here. You can't see them right now, but that's okay. And then the scheme goes here. Okay, so I have to take care of these. 
So the main Mole Man card is out. Morgan the Foot. This is how I find where I made a mistake. Okay, Myster main Mysterio is out. One, two, three, four. And main Grandmaster is out. Just their tactics. All right. So these are going to go to the villain deck. And the scheme is here. Okay, that's done. Oh, you guys can't see the... Can't see the thing. Okay, villain deck. So what do we got? I need two bystanders. You had a record box. You kept everything. Oh, that's terrible. Did you go over a big bump or did you not secure it properly? Because that can happen. Wait, when did you... When were you trying to find a specific bystander? That was just for fun. I don't think any game mechanic does that. Okay, so for the scheme, they go into the villain deck. So here's the 12 tactics. There is the two bystanders. This thing calls for... This thing calls for... Um, how many? Two bystanders and eight scheme twists. I did it. Here's the strikes. One, two, three, four, five. It's good to have this stuff nearby now. Here's the twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twists. That goes in there. <laughs> yeah, there's only one Detective Wolverine. I don't blame it. If you ever do lose a card, Upper Deck is very, very good about sending you replacements. So don't be afraid to email them and say, hey, I don't have this, that, and this. It might take a while, but they'll just send them to you. It's pretty awesome. That's great customer service on their part. Okay, there's the Henchman. There's Monster Metropolis. There's Hydra Elite, and I think that's it for a giant villain deck. Usually the, the big villain decks make the games longer, so I hope you guys are ready for a longer game here. Unless I lose fast, which in which case it'll be over when it's over. Okay, shuffle time. How many scheme tours? I got eight, so I'm going to do eight piles. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And then I'll stack them all together. All right, based on the scheme and uh, from what you know about the scheme, let me hide this for a second so you guys can look at it because this, this is going to be a while. What do you think? How will I fare today? Will I play for three hours and lose or play for one hour and win or play for three hours and win or just draw? My st my, these are terrible piles. Ignore these piles. These piles don't exist. Okay. So things get stronger. Tyrant villains show up. Things are going to escape real easily. I only have one spider hero as out, out of silk there. So unless I maybe pull five soaks or four or five soaks in the HQ, I'm probably not going to go the silk route. Karma and Cannonball should work well together. Gorgon's going to be helpful for uh, spur of the moment things with his uh, when recruited. Okay, that's together. And Hulk is going to help me use wounds if anything is going to give me wounds. Hey, Gizmo Dog, thanks for the follow. I see your name popped up. I'm testing those labels. I don't know why your name's all the way to the left there, but it's going to be up there. I didn't see an alert when you followed. What is up with the alerts? Maybe I just, oh, maybe I, the alert happened and I had my headphones off because I was getting the cards. Let me know if you saw an alert because I wasn't looking. But anyway, thank you so much for the follow. There was an alert, okay. Got it. Sweet. I like these sleeves a lot. They're great and um, after using them for a while, they still hold up. Um, you got to be careful when you shuffle them. If you do too many of these, they're going to bend the corners a little bit. So just be gentle with them. But they're very smooth and they stay that way. Okay, here's the villain deck. I don't think I'm breaking any records today either, by the way. Let's put uh, this back up here. Okay, shuffling the hero deck. I'm doing terrible with my time. I'm just having fun talking to you guys. That's my excuse. Okay, Hulk, Cannonball. Gorgon, Karma, Silk. I'm using BCW 
uh, I always forget what they're called. BCW, Ultra. I'm failing here. They're not pro ultras. That's something else. I'll I'll link them later. I just totally forget. They're they're BCU Ultra something somethings. If you just search for BCU Ultra Two sleeves, maybe that's what they're called. BCU Ultra Twos. But they're great. I had I was using KMC Perfect Fits before, which are like smaller, tighter penny sleeves, which work pretty well, except they do show signs of wear on the edges and with the Rum of Kings thing that didn't really quite fit uh, like the other ones did. So I re-sleeved all of my cards except for the ones that transform. The transforming ones I have double sleeves so I can pop them out of these sleeves and they're still in KMC Perfect Fits. So I'm still not actually touching the cards just in case. Um, Urza, if you look on my uh, my Facebook page or my Twitter I did a big long post about my reorganization project and I linked every single product I use in that build so you can uh, find all the information on the sleeves, the boxes, the dividers, everything I used in that post. So you can check that out. Okay, hero deck, shuffling that up. Alright. How in the world did I do this in nine minutes before? Well, I guess I didn't have three masterminds to collect in a scheme I couldn't find. But still. Yes, go, um, yeah, Facebook slash Bageltop Games or at Bageltop Games on Twitter. I did this I have identical post there in both places. So check those out. All right. I think that's good enough. I got to stop doing that because I can see. I'll do one more shuffle. Yeah, it's working really well. I actually, uh, surprisingly, believe it or not, I was able to find stuff real fast, even though the scheme didn't count. Okay. Um, here's this. And split. I said I press split button. There we go. Shuffle and deal starting hands can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you'll also notice I've automated my left hand, right hand label. It's no longer going to be physical here. It makes it easier for me. All I got to do is press a button. You see a little transition and it will go from left hand to right hand. And I'll, I'll show you what it looks like before I actually start. Okay, there we go. Left hand, right hand, moving this backwards so I have room to do stuff. And that is additional scheme setup. There isn't any yet. Uh, and start game. Okay, 14 minutes, not terrible. I can do better next time. Let's get rid of that. All right, let's see what we're working with today. Here is our, our main mastermind. Here's one of them. They're transforming masterminds. If you haven't seen these before, they're from the shield set. So they adapt. Oh, Fomonti, just wait to see what else I have <laughs> going on here. Uh, but yes, I'm, I, I like it a lot. It's very aesthetically pleasing. So thanks for appreciating it. All right. Uh, yeah, so these are adapting masterminds. So you have Arnim Zola, then you have Red Skull, Viper, and uh, Helmet Zemo. So when they adapt, I shuffle in the card and I draw a new one. And they all do different stuff. So we'll see how that works out. And then we're doing Master of Tyrants today. Okay, all those Masterminds are in the villain deck. When they get pulled, they are Tyrant Villains with their printed attack and no abilities. Oh, I didn't look at what their attack's like. I should have looked at that. Oh, well. Okay, first seven twists. Uh, I put a twist under a Tyrant Villain as Dark Power gives them plus two attack. Twist eight, they all escape. And Evil wins when five Tyrant Villains escape. So let me update my, my little thing. So see it at the bottom where it says Condition 1, Condition 2? I left that as a variable for whatever happened. So I need to edit that and say, what should I say? Uh, tyrant villains and escape pile. Tyrant, can't spell. Tyrant villains in escape pile. And that should save as soon as I do this. And it's not zero out of zero, it's zero out of five. Okay. And then that last one doesn't need to be there yet. So I'm going to get rid of that like this. It's gone. I th yeah, Mysterio is, yeah. Kevin, are you asking or telling me? Because I don't quite remember, we'll just see. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. Let's get our HQ loaded up and then I'll get rid of the setup. 
Oh, there's a soak. Okay, I hope for more soaks or no more. Ooh, two soaks. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me get rid of the setup. If anybody, anybody wants to see the setup at any time, just let me know. Okay, this puts me in an interesting predicament. As you can probably guess. With three soaks out there. Oh man. I may have to go Silk on one side, but that's tricky because she's only one of the five heroes here. Anyway, I'm going to get started. Thanks for waiting this long for the start. All 15 of you for watching. YouTube's winning right now. If Twitch wants to win, Twitch has to take over. All right, so here's what I do for uh, turn transitions. Check this out. So when it's time for the right hand's turn, check it. I just press this button here and boom. Right hand's turn. And oh, right, hand, right hand's turn is over. I switch here. Boom. Go to the left turn. Left hand. Okay, that's working. But uh, this is bothering me. If I can click on it. So I'm gonna, whoops. I'm gonna move this over. Nah, never mind. Okay, let's get started. What's up, Gage? All right, let's do it. Left hand goes first. Again, make your predictions. How's this game gonna go? How's it gonna work out? Let me move my mic a little bit. Apologize for the noise. All right. I've got a four and two here. And our first villain is... Oh, check it out, I get to do my thing. Scheme twist. So, what happens? Okay. <laughs> I love that. I was really waiting to do that. I do it right away. Okay. Put this twist under tyrant villain. Okay. There are no tyrant villains, so nothing happens, right? It just goes away. It goes to the KO pile. At least you guys got to see the cool animation. I think it adds some drama. All right. Now I can do stuff. For recruit. Here's what. Here's where I got to make that decision. Should I start getting... <laughs> I got that as a gift, the stream deck. Made me happy. All right, so long range spider sense. If I take this and the rest of the silks, I have to somehow whittle my deck down and or only take silk with one side, which severely limits what that side can do. Because especially this one. Oh my gosh, and it's spectrum, which means I need three different colors. Whew. I don't know about this, you guys. It scares me. I might screw up the whole game just by taking Silk. So let me just play my four recruit here. I mean, she's gonna show up. What does my right hand, right starting hand look like? I've got three, only three recruit over here. So I can't recruit anything over here except for Silk. So I'm gonna hold off on Silk. I'm gonna recruit Cannonball on the left, since I can afford it with my four here. Let me make sure you guys can see that. All right. So Cannonball's got four. Um, and Soaring Flight. Which means that he goes to the top of my deck, right? Oh, no. It goes... It goes. It basically uh, adds to my hand as an extra card next turn, which is great. So I'll recruit it for four. Oh, let me do the thing. Recruit it. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Gone. And he goes into my hand next turn. That's an extra card. So that's gone. Two attack, nothing to attack. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to continue to do this. Because it might get annoying, but we'll see. Okay, left hand is over to the right hand. Oh, that makes it a lot easier, I gotta tell you. Oh, I didn't replenish. Ooh, is that her rare? Okay, yeah, that makes it more of an easy decision. Spectrum, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Put any combination of those cards. Yep. That's the rare. Okay. Let's see if it's going to be like the last game where my rare just goes away for no reason. All right. And for this, we've got our first... Our first tyrant villain. He's just a seven attack. He's not Mole Man right now. He's a, he's a brain dead Mole Man. Can't fight him. Let's spend the three here and get my three recruit. And let's take 
her rare. So the right side looks like it's going to be the Silk deck. Kind of by default, but I'm fine with that. And that's that. Three, four, five, six. And left hand's turn. Maybe I'll add a counter. Oh, yes. Hi, Dre, you got to it before Kevin did. Definitely wall crawl. So that means the one on the bottom is still in the deck. Yes, she's been wall crawled. She is here on the right side. Kevin, Dre beat you this time. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, we're tied. Uh, Twitch and fa Twitch and I keep saying Facebook. Twitch and YouTube tied six and six. Here's my next hand. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Oh, and ref replenish. There's a karma. All right. Next is. Another Tyrant Villain is the Grandmaster, and he is extra strong. This is bad. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. All right. So, nothing happens here. The good thing about these Tyrants is that there's not a lot of ambushes. At least there's fewer. Uh, they're spaced out a little better. All right, what do I have as far as Recruit? I have one, two, three, four, and six, which is great because I have two cards that are six. She's got four recruit right at the beginning. Let's take a look at her. Karmic Balance. Reveal the top card of the hero deck. You may recruit at this turn. If you do, you may KO one of your cards or a card from your discard pile. Hmm. This is really good for beginning game. Four recruit. Extra chance to recruit something I want. And whittle down the gray cards in my deck. So even though Gorgon is green, he can be used for a when recruited later. I think this makes more sense. So I'm going to go with recruiting her right now. Yeah, that worked pretty good. I just got to get into the flow of it. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, this is working out pretty good with the Silk thing. And yes, that's that. You guys all saw me. I shuffled nice and I shuffled with uh, the pile shuffle and all that. No shenanigans here whatsoever. This is a shenanigan-free stream, well, game game mechanic-wise. I do. But gray is a color. So I only need one more color, really. If I want to do that, pretty sure. Oh, no, never mind. It's classes, not colors. Gray doesn't count. So I do need some other colors. The rare is, is, is uh, tech. We'll see if I can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, to the right hand. And what do we have? It is our first actual villain villain. It is Hive. Ambush. Put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. Then each player reveals their hand and discards a card with a cost equal to the Hydra level. Okay, Hydra level is equal to... Hydra level, I, I think so, Kevin. We'll see if it shows up. Uh, the Hydra level is equal to the number of shield or Hydra cards in the KO pile or the escape pile. Is that correct? Regardless, um, let's do what it says. Okay, the top card of the stack is uh, Maria Hill. So this goes into the escape pile. It looks like I got to keep track of the Hydra level too. So here we go. Oh, did my... um. My scheme twist didn't count up. Oh, I see. I didn't reset the thing. I have to reset my counter. So let me do this. I'm just going to count this as Hydra level. Hydra level. And just one for now. And let me put the counter of scheme twist up to one. And let's make this visible. Wait, it didn't update. Okay. Oh, duh. Oh, I see. It's zero. 
Got it. Okay. Hydra level is one. So one scheme to us played. Good. Got it. So, then each player reveals their hand and discards. Only count escape cards, not KO'd. Okay. Thank you, Urza. So, the Hydra level is just one. Then each player reveals their hand and discards a card with cost equal to the Hydra level. So, who's got a one cost? I don't think anybody does. I like how it's just equal to. So, this is the right hand's turn. They don't have any of the cost one. The left hand is totally fine. No, cost, no one cost at all. All right. So let's play our four recruits. And then we've got our Silk here. He, oh, he goes back into the city. Very colorful cards this game. I, I'm enjoying that. Love the colors. And I do not have Spectrum, so it's just a simple one attack here from her. What happens if I do? Okay, I get to draw some cards, but I need Spectrum first. I need to get that to happen. So just, just one more attack, so that's it. So again, nothing to fight. That might be a problem. I don't want. I don't want these two to escape. I really gotta start hoping some, uh, hoping some uh, henchmen come up, or I can get some more attack. So that being said, this side is my silk side. So I guess I'll just take two silks. That'll give me some attack. So I'll take this one first. She does not have wall crawl. There's a Hulk. I'll take the other silk though for the other two. Okay, now my silks are going away. This is where it gets problem problematic. Okay, that's that. What did I say? Did I say attack, Kevin? I couldn't. I couldn't tell you what I said. I can't remember at all. All right, moving on to the... Oh yeah, so here's the thing. It only happens over here. So unless I make 10, I'm gonna have to be shuffling through buttons. So either I'm only gonna recruit the ones that are here or just play it anyway. I guess you guys can tell me what you wanna see. Just so you can hear the sound, even if it's not in the right place. And that's the hard part about doing this live, but I'll do my best for you guys because you're all awesome. All right, moving to the left side. Let's do it. Would you guys want to see a counter for how many turns have elapsed? Because I can do that easily too. I mean, just let me know if that's something you want. All right. Hey, I fished what I wished here. I got myself a uh, henchman. I fight it for three and the next hero I fight gets soaring flight which is nice for recruiting and speaking of recruiting this is my non-silk side and i got karma here for four recruit and let's take a look at the top card of the hero deck here and i can recruit it if i want to okay it is this karma uh if i do i may ko one of my cards so let me take a look at this for a second guess a color reveal the top card of the hero deck put it back if you guessed right you get to attack do i want this well, let's see what else I might be able to recruit this turn instead. So I'll leave that here on the top. And then I have four more recruit for a total of eight recruit. Too bad there's no other rares out here. Which means I could get this Gorgon here for six. Or I can get her and Hulk. When recruited, you may K one of your cards with no attack icon. That'll help me get rid of something there. But he's not going anywhere. Oh, but he has highest abomination. This is a great card to have for early attack. So either I recruit Gorgon now and KO one of these cards, or I recruit Karma and KO one of these cards, or recruit Karma now, recruit Gorgon in two turns, and then I get to KO two cards. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I'll bide my time here. Wait. Yeah. Because I'm not going to get through this in time to KO these guys. Well, if I do Karma now, I can get Gorgon later, but I may not get six recruit. So, you know, time is of the essence. I really don't want these guys to escape. That'll really screw my thing up. Yeah, I think, Kevin, I think you're right. I'm going to leave this here, and I'm not going to do Karma's effect. I am going to take Gorgon right now. Okay, so that cost me... I didn't get a sidekick, I forgot. 
When recruited, you may KO one of your cards with no uh, attack. That is going to be this one. Oh, I'll do the thing. Here, this is for you guys. Okay, gone. All right, that's KO'd. And highest abomination, that's when I draw it later. And then let me go ahead and get myself a sidekick. I've got myself a standard sidekick. <laughs> Alright. Refill. There she is. Let's see if I can get some attack out. Moving on. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe I should have some <laughs> sounds for the transition. Although that could get annoying. I was very afraid to do anything that would get too annoying. You know, besides me talking all the time. Okay, five and one. That's not good. Especially if this is a villain. Oh, scheme twist. Let's do the thing. Twist number two. Put it under a tyrant villain in the city as dark power it gets plus two. Okay. Dre, did you do that on Kofi? That might take a second to update. Thank you. I'm trying to pronounce your name. Pepega Chargy. Thank you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe if you feel like. First of all, Dre, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Second of all, it might take a second. Let me go ahead and do... I'm going to do a test just so I can see... If that is a problem, it's going to be on Kofi's end. Let me see. Let me. I'm going to do a test alert to myself. Yep, the test one worked. So, I don't know why yours didn't show up, Dre, but thank you so much. Dre just uh, donated to me, so everybody needs to know. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Peppa, I appreciate that. Um, if you haven't followed, make sure you hit follow so you know when I go... Uh, when I go streaming again. Okay. Yes. Kevin, I was about to say. I was about to decide whether to put it under Mole Man or Grandmaster. But, um... Well, Highest Abomination only works for the, uh... For the HQ. It doesn't have to do with that. But I was going to put it under the Grandmaster anyway, since he is the most likely to escape. I do have a chance of maybe taking him out. I don't want to make him stronger. That was my reasoning. So I'm going to put it under the Grandmaster here instead. Oh wait, did the, the scheme twist thing didn't go up? Why not? I specifically said to my pro Oh I know why. Okay, I'm going to it's okay. I'm gonna hit scheme twist again just for fun. I, I mapped the button right here. Check it out. My awesome scheme twist button here. I mapped it so it should play the animation and it should count up the scheme twist one. So everybody look at where it says scheme twist played. Um, because there were two. I'm going to see if this works. Okay, we're going to press it again. Scheme twist. Count up, please. Come on. Didn't do it. Oh, do I have to click out of the program first? I have it mapped. This stuff is crazy. Okay, let me try it one more time. Scheme twist. Hey, it worked. Okay, now I gotta count down. So the problem was I had clicked inside of the counter app and when it's there, that doesn't work for whatever reason. So one more time, cause I counted it down. Count up please. Yes, it worked. Okay, perfect. That's enough of that. Where was I? Okay, I just played the scheme twist. I put that there. Now it's time to do my turn. I told you some things are gonna go wrong. I'm trying to figure out how this works. One, two, three, four, five. Five or crew. Hey, if somebody wants to let Upper Deck know that my stream is super awesome and has cool animations, let them know. I don't think they know. All right, five recruit on the silk side. Let me take the other two silks. <laughs> Kevin, why can't it be both? They can totally be both. It's 100% both. Okay, just for you. Okay, let me put this back. Okay, I'm going to recruit this. Bam. Let's refill more hulks, and I'm going to recruit this soak too. 
<laughs> ¿Por qué no los dos? Okay. Now the hulks have arrived and I am totally out of silks. So I need a third color in this deck to make it work. Hmm. I'll get to that later. But I'd have nothing to attack right now. So that's it. How does my attack look on my next turn? Um, yes, next hand. And on to the left side. So quick question. How many of you would it be a big inconvenience if I stopped streaming on Facebook and YouTube and just did Twitch? Just let me know if it would be a problem. I'm considering it because I think that might help with some of the things like the latency. Okay. Here we got somebody new. Growing man. He gets attack equal to the Mastermind's Hydra level, which is one. Ambush, put a card from the Shield Officer stack into the escape pile. So that is going to be an increase on the Hydra level, which all it takes is a press of a button and it should. Yep, there it is. Updated. No problem. Okay, cool. But the problem is, the city is full, and I, well, luckily, I have just enough attack to stave it off for one more turn. So let's do that. Play my three attack. Okay. And, yeah, much easier. Speeds things up, don't have to turn around a lot. Just press the button and, and it's good. Three attack. Yeah, I hear you. Like, there's rules about where you can stream if you make Twitch affiliate. I don't know. I haven't decided. No, no decisions yet. I'm just, just workshopping it here. Okay, so I'm going to take out the... Whoops, let's bump the camera real hard so that messes everything up. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let me take the Shi'ar Patrol Craft. Fight. I'll fight it for three, and then the next hero you recruit this turn gets Soaring Flight. Soaring Flight means it's an extra card in my hand, right? Yeah, I already de de determined that. So, I'll remember that, and I'll get rid of it. Victory Pile on the left. And then what recruit do I have? Four recruit. Wow, with Cannonball and the Shi'ar guys, we're going to have a lot of Soaring Flight going on. Next hand, yeah, good question. I'll, I'll tell you, one, two, three, four, five. I have five, enough to take out Hive here. So I'm okay there. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Matt. I'm hoping this is more engaging for people because I'm just playing a card game. All right, four recruit, although Legendary is much more than a card game. Should I take this Karma here and I get to um, Soaring Flight it? Oh. Yeah, he is only two right now, but that could get worse. You know what? Let me get my counters out. Where are my counters? Here they are. Okay, so I could take this for four. Or you know what? I might want to take the Growing Anger Hulk for three because he works well with the other green cards. So I don't know. So right now he's a two. Let me make sure I don't forget that. Hmm. She works well with herself, so if I have other Karma cards and I can reveal the top of the hero deck, I can almost always activate her effect for four. Um, I don't have a lot of yellow cards. Let me look at this for a second. Okay, this is the one that works well with other Hulk cards or wounds. Hmm, I don't have a lot of wounds now. I don't know if this is going to be a wound-heavy game, though. We've got Cannonball. That works well with other instinct cards if I get them. This is a tough decision. I'm thinking I need to go with this Growing Anger Hulk because I need the attack right now. Things are getting dicey. I do have this and Gorgon, so I do have two other green cards in this deck. And then maybe I can end up getting this and then later get the KO Wound. She's a potential four attack, but he's almost a guaranteed. He's a guaranteed two, almost three. So I'm going to take Hulk now. Because I'm scared. So let's recruit him. Oh, and there's his rare. Check it out. I have the promo card. I have Hulk Smash promo card. Oh, Soaring Flight. Thank you. <laughs> Again, Kevin to the rescue. 
And then, yes, I want this. I hope I get this later. Hope I draw that Karma card and four more recruits at the same time. Uh, yeah, that's it for this turn. Right? Yep, I already used my attack. Yep. This is going to be one, two, three, and I draw four more because of Soaring Flight. Yeah, I forget when I got that one. I think it was when... <laughs> it's okay. I think it was when I got the... Um, last year when they had the Secret Wars buy one, get one half off or something. I think that's when I got the promo or it was another order. Like, if you want to order from Upper Deck, they do send cool promos out from time to time. I got a couple others, too. All right. That's the new hand for the right side. On to... Uh, yeah, for the left side. On to the right. So I have enough attack to do something. But let's see what shows up. And... We've got our monster. First monster. Bug, Shikla's pet dragon. Fight KO a card from your discard pile. Oh, and Fateful Resurrection, like the zombies. I don't want that to happen. Yeah, so, so Drew, as I was right, it was from that one. All right, let's see how much... Uh, unfortunately, I do not have Spectrum. I am one class short. Which is going to bring up an interesting question about what I do here, but let's see. So I've got one, two, three... Four, five, no effects. Just five here. And the two recruit for the silk I'm not gonna recruit because there aren't any. Oh, if I get a um if I get a special shield officer, oh those cost three. That's not gonna help me anyway. Anyway, let's do our attack. The strongest thing I can fight is hive here. Um so the only reason I might not is because Growing Man is getting stronger. But he is only a 2 right now. I do have some time. So I am going to take out Hive in the interest of getting the strong thing out of the city. So he's gone. And the right has claimed him as its own. And then all I can do is take a sidekick. Maybe I'll put a I'll put a recruit animation right here so I can press the button and it'll happen here. So I don't have to do this. So recruit. I need some more colors. I gotta trigger that spectrum. So if I get another card that doesn't cost two, it's not the end of the world because Silk lets you draw two cards. So I can just as long as I have one to trigger the to trigger the spectrum, it may not be the worst thing. Okay, Twitch is winning right now with seven viewers over YouTube six. Let's get that to double digits, you guys. If anybody has some friends over at Board Game Geek, <laughs> let them know. I am thinking about doing another stream another time during the week at a later hour so more people can watch. So we'll see if that works out. Okay, I can do some damage this turn, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, six, seven. Yep, that's that's legit because of the soaring flight. And we have our another scheme twist. Okay, this is going to go under another tyrant villain. How much attack am I going to generate here? Just three. I'm just going to generate four attack. Okay. So the lose condition doesn't have to do with how many of these dark powers escape. It has to do with how many tyrant villains escape. So I'm going to put it under Grandmaster and expect him to escape. But at least he'll take two of the scheme twists with him. Yeah, exactly, Dre. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, if I can fight him, great. But I don't need to. And my counter is automatically updated. That's great. All right, recruit points is four plus, hold on. He, uh, Cannonball has a superpower. The next hero you recruit this turn has Soaring Flight for green. And then Hulk has a superpower, which is 
you get plus one attack. So that'll give me a total of four attack, which will let me take out this. How much recruit do I have? I have six. So, although, you know what? I think I want to take cannonballs, and I'll take out Growing Man, so I can take this Hulk, and I'll have four attack in my hand for next turn. I think that's what I want to do. So first I'll play the four recruit. I really got to get rid of uh, Mole, Mole Man out here. So first we'll play Hulk, which will just give me two attack. Won't trigger the superpower there. But what I will do is play Carry to the Air Cannonball next, which will give me two more recruit, and trigger Soaring Flight on... I'm going to recruit this next turn. So just so I don't forget, let me go ahead and put him... Um, I'll put him on... I don't know what to do. How do I remember this? I'll just put him on top of the... I'll put him sideways. This means do it, do his thing. <laughs> and then one recruit. I need like little soaring flight tokens. But that'll be too much work. One of the reasons I want a better camera is this one kind of fish eyes a little bit out of the sides. So a better one will be able to zoom in farther with not much loss of quality. And it won't do the effect it's doing on the edges. So that's a fingers crossed thing for the future. Okay, so now I will recruit this Hulk for five. Crazed Rampage, which will give me wounds, but if I get that other Hulk, it won't be a big deal. If I make this side a green deck, that might not be the worst decision either. So I'll recruit him and uh, Soaring Flight him. I guess Hulk takes a big old jump, so let's recruit him. He goes on the top of my deck as an extra card. And with that three attack, I will take out Growing Man here. Just to be clear. Yep. He is a two attack, so he is gone. Okay, so this dice is gone. Pretty productive. And I'll have some damage to do next turn. Alrighty. It's going well so far. That's Here's my next hand. You can see him peeking out there. And over to the, the other side. Oh, that was the right hand. Okay. Wait, what just happened? Did I take turns out of order? I don't think so. Wait, why does it say left hand again? I'm confusing myself. Didn't I just take the left side's turn? If I screw that up, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to move to the right right now. I think I just... I think the button just didn't work or something. So I think it's supposed to be my right, right side's turn. Because I took out Hive. Right? And then I took out... The Changing Man. Yeah, so it's my right hand's turn again. Anybody wants to yell at me, let me know. Yeah, I think that's correct. So I must have not pressed it all the way. That's the danger of doing this. I really got to pay attention. Again, this is this is trial run time. All right, and here we go. Yeah, I think I forgot to press the button. I got I got to learn new tricks. Ghost Deadpool, fight Fateful Resurrection, then cross dimensional Deadpool Rad Page. Oh my gosh, I don't want to fight this guy. Well, at the very least, I should fight him before I fight this monster. I need, like, a foot pedal so I can press the next turn button on a foot pedal. Still no spectrum. I've got three attack here. And three recruit. So, question time. Should I recruit one of these? Monster first brings him back from more chaos. Oh, that's true. If he does come back, if he does come back, then I can KO more stuff from my deck. But that also, you know, makes it harder to clear the city out. Regardless, should I take one of these two? Now, this is the Silk side. So, unless I can get rid of him later, he's going to get in the way of Silk drawing a bunch of cards. 
but I do need that spectrum to trigger those in the first place. Huh. In the interest of... Yeah, so this says KO a card from your discard pile, so if I draw the other Silk later, I could get rid of this Cannonball. So just to trigger these Spectrums, I am going to take him and no other cards. Yeah, you're right. Okay. And he'll Spectrum my next hand, hopefully, if I draw the rare, because he goes right to my hand. So let's do that. I'll take him for three. And he Soaring Flight's over. Ooh, more Hulks. So this is going to be a Hulk-heavy deck on the left, I think. And then with my three attack on the left, I can fight absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. I have five attack. Two plus... I can do math. Two, two, one. It's five attack. Hmm. Okay, so I could take out this Deadpool. Which will give me some wounds. But again, I could take out the Dragon first. And when the Dragon's resurrected... I get to KO more stuff. Oh, you know what the other problem is? I have no discard pile over here on the right side. It's it's empty. Now, all it will do is give me wounds. And I'm going to have Hulk on the left side. And Silk can draw. She can draw um she can draw wounds, so it won't end it won't mess up that combo because they cost 0. Um, so here's how I know it'll be resurrected, because when I fight Ghost Deadpool, it'll trigger the Fateful Resurrection. So if I defeat the, the dragon, then I fight Deadpool later, he'll come back and I get to defeat the dragon again for another KO in my hand. Whew. Okay, you know what? He might come back anyway. So I'm going to fight the dragon. I don't get to KO anything. Because I have no discard pile, but at least he'll be gone. So let's do that. I'll fight him for four, and he's gone. And then Deadpool might bring him back later. Who knows? Ooh, we've got another tie. Oh, goodness. That's bad. Okay, we got another tie in the viewer count. we got six and six on each platform. Two, three... Yeah, he's there, so let's see. My next hand... Oh, my next hand has Spectrum. Would you look at that? And a sidekick. This should be good. Yes, Kevin, you're 100% right. Unless I fought him first, which... Unless I fought the dragon first, which would have got around that. Okay, I pressed the button. Now it's the left hand's turn. What do I got? I've got Hulk. Three... Okay, good stuff here. Four, five, six. I don't have enough recruit to get this, unfortunately, but I'm close. So let's see what comes up. Oh, first master strike. Here we go. Ready for the thing? <laughs> All right. I should shuffle these around anyway. So first it's Arnim Zola. He, he gets attack equal to the total printed. That's for later. <laughs> you like it, Kevin? Each player discards two heroes with attack icons. Adapt. Oh, that's bad. That's going to screw up both of this. Okay, well, I mean, I could have fought. Yeah, highest abomination. I'm getting rid of these two. You should shuffle to start the game. Yeah, I mean, they were already sh they're already in no order, so I just shuffled them again. Okay, two attack are being discarded over here on the left side. And then the right side, that's going to screw up this awesome hand I had. I have to discard two of my sh my uh, my silks. So I'm losing Spectrum. Oh, man. It's gone because I can't. Okay, so here's what I have. Let me just show you. I have Cannonball, Silk, Silk, and then the other Silk. So I have to discard two of these. You're right, Kevin. That's the best chance I'll draw one of these. So these are going to both go away. So hopefully this sidekick will help me, even though I forget. I may not draw one. We'll see. Then adapt, which means 
I replace it with another shuffled one of these. That's what it means, right? It doesn't go in order. Yeah. Yeah, re adapt and reshuffle stack. Oh, but it says keep them in a face-up stack. So they have to be face-up. Oh, I have to shuffle this back in. It could, I could get the same one. So shuffle the masterminds. Yeah, shuffles all four. Yeah, caught that too. Okay, and it's Arnim Zola. That's what we already had. Whatever. He's back. He won't go away. That goes over here. Okay, now we can take my turn. Let's do... Karmic Balance for Recruit, top card of the hero deck, and let's see what it happens to be. It is... Okay, it is Unstoppable Hulk. Which I may recruit anyway, so I might do that. Helps me get rid of wounds. Oh, man. Okay. Well... Crazed Rampage is going to kind of nerf the other side. I didn't... I forgot about that, how it's each player. But again, Silk can draw wounds, so it's not a deal breaker. It's just annoying. And if Silk draws all the wounds, then I can just get rid of them all that turn. So it's not so bad. But do I have to play this? Let me see. Trample under under Hoof. So I'll get one attack from him, and then Highest Abomination. Ooh, that's plus five, thanks to Hulk's rare here. So that's plus six attack. Yeah, that's true about the dragon. Yeah, Faithful Resurrection means... Wait, Faithful, Faithful Resurrection means when you fight it, uh, when, when it triggers, anything in the... If, um, yeah, if the top card of a victory pile has Faithful Resurrection on it, it comes back. Oh, you're right. That is Living Dead. I did mix those up. Okay, Faithful Resurrection. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. A Scheme Twist or Master Strike resurrects its villain and it enters the city. Okay. Okay, so by that logic, if a Scheme Twister Master Strike resurrects it, I got rid of this right before the Master Strike showed up. So this should be back in the city then. Okay. Yes. Thank you for catching that. I mean, it makes sense to mix up Rise of the Living Dead with Fateful Resurrection. He is there. Which, again, it's not terrible. It gives me another chance to get rid of some stuff. So where was I? Oh yes, I was playing this. Highest Abomination gives me plus five, thanks to Hulk here, so I have six attack. This is great. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking. I was trying to figure out my turn. I always look at your chat, it might take a little second. Okay, let's play this too, just so I can take out... I can take out the Grandmaster this way, wow. So each player gains a wound. I'm going to play this. And let's start this wound stuff going. So wound to the left and to the right. I'm sorry, that must have been frustrating for you guys. <laughs> I would have done it eventually, I promise. Okay, thank you. There's so many rules in this game. And two more recruit. Okay, six recruit, eight, ten attack. So should I take out the Grandmaster? But he has Contest of Champions. Oh no, he doesn't. He's a he has no effect. He's just a he's a he's a tactic with just an attack. Or I could take out this and nothing else. That's with the Grandmaster. Well, he's not the Grandmaster. He is what a, a tyrant villain. So I'll fight the tyrant villain. Oh, he does get plus two. You're right. He's fourteen. So I can't fight him. You're right. You're right. You're right. So then I'll just take out the I'll take out the uh, mole man, the mole man, or hit the mastermind because he's an aid. But this is a lose condition, so I'm gonna take him out just because I don't want to lose. So he's gone. And six recruit. Should I take the other each player gets a wound, or should I recruit this to KO one of my other cards? I can get rid of that wound right now. Thanks to Karma. 
Hmm. Um. You know what? It's going to be less and less likely that I draw six recruit. So I'm going to take this five while I can and just go all out with the attacks, which will make it easier to get rid of wounds later. Yeah, Kevin, I th that's my thought I just had. So I'm going to... Oh, oh you, you mean get this but keep the wound. I'm going to take this one. I need the attack right now. I'm getting scared because there's more, there's more tyrant villains that are going to show up. And he'll show up next. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to recruit him. I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. So he's recruited. And uh, nothing else to fight, so that's it. And keeping this guy here is not the worst for um, highest abomination. It does pretty good. Because I get that attack value anyway. Although this would give me 10 total. Yeah, I'll try to get that when I can. Alright, if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining. We're in the middle of, we're about a little over an hour in. Let me show you the setup. That's the setup we're doing today, just in case you haven't seen. I should do this at the top of the hour anyway. I should just have it on a timer. You can see my three recent follows at the bottom of the screen on the different platforms. If you'd like to be on the screen, just do one of those follows and you'll pop up. Thank you for being here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody loves their name on a screen. Okay, on to the other side. Bam. My slightly nerfed silk hand. Hopefully the sidekicks will help with that. Let's see what pops up. Man thing. Fighting against me. Alright, ambush. Each monster metropolis villain captures a bystander. That is gonna be the two of these. So it's bystanders for everybody. So we've got uh one from villains to ghost deadpool, and then we've got one here, and then Man Thing also gets one. So these move down. And also Fateful Resurrection. Oh man. That's gonna be annoying. And public speaker. The only way to avoid Fateful Resurrection is to know that there is a Master Striker scheme twist here. Which means the strategy is probably going to be to let some of these guys escape, but I do have to get rid of this. Maybe not this one, but the other ones that pop up. Okay, let's play that sidekick and let's see what comes up. Oh, also, special sidekicks will work for Spectrum and Silk, too. I have to remember that. So let's play the sidekick. Hopefully one of these is a blue Silk. It is not, so I do not get Spectrum, unfortunately. But I do have enough attack to fight something. That's kind of a bummer. Two, three, four. With no effects whatsoever. Four attack. And two recruit. Let's go ahead and get a side. Yeah, I know. Let's get a sidekick out of this. Hoping for a special one. And I'll never play it. And I'll just use it for Spectrum. And nope. It's just a regular one. Recruit. <laughs> Do I have to keep doing this? <laughs> Maybe I should get a big recruit that just goes over the whole screen. That might be what I do. Anyway, I got that. So, for attack. Well, let's do it. Now that I have a discard pile, I'll fight the dragon for four. Which means I rescue this standard by a standard. I'll KO a card from my discard pile. So, I have plenty of cards here to, to KO. Um... Let's do the wound. I don't have a good way to get rid of wounds over here. So we'll KO the wound. And Fateful Resurrection. It is going to be... Okay, it is another tyrant, so he enters the city again. This is going to be annoying. But at least I can use him to get rid of a lot of wounds over here. It has to be another Grandmaster. So I can let three... Oh, he's dead? Oh, I'm backwards. Yes, 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 yes. 
Thank you. It was a master strike. So he is dead, dead, dead for sure. I was going to say, that's going to make the game really hard if it, if it goes that way. And that's that. So we're good. <laughs> I was thinking for about, a, for about a good minute and a half, it was the other way around. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? All right, shuffling. So you can see, see my hand shuffle. I'm not faking it. Now, if only I could get the game to auto shuffle for me, that would be great. Okay, left hand side. Not a lot of greatness here. We do have yet another tyrant. Um, let's do the sidekick. I've got one. Hmm. Decent amount of recruit. Only three attack. So I can't fight anything with that. I'll take all five recruit though, because I can use that. I can use that to get either. Yeah, this one costs four. And I'm gonna need it for all the wounds I'm getting. So I'm gonna take this now. So we'll recruit him. And that's the end of that turn, except for the refill. Okay. How awesome are these Hulk reskins, by the way? I love them. And the promo puts it all together. Okay, that's it. Now, Upper Deck is starting to hear that people really want and would purchase a reskinned base set. I think some of them were skeptical, but I'm pretty sure everybody listening to me would want and would probably get a, a core set that had been reskinned. So anytime you get a chance to talk to one of them, let them know. Like like a anniversary or collector's edition or something. All right, not a great hand over here either, but we do have a sidekick. Sidekick, we have a henchman. Four recruit over here. Matt, I literally just went to a local print shop. I did the self-serve printing. If you ask them to print it for you, they are unlikely to do that because they'll cite, um, you know, IP stuff. But if you, uh, like, I go to there's a, there's a FedEx copy near me, and you can send your file to an email, and then the email will upload it into their printer. And then you just print it yourself and cut them out. And they're not involved, so they don't yell at you for it. Yeah, ten, they, uh, Ryan on his stream did bring up 10th anniversary is next year. And he said there's some interesting stuff going on outside of expansions regarding Legendary. So I don't know what that means. I know they're working on a storage solution. But I don't think that's what he was referencing because he also referenced that. Okay, well, at least I can take this out. Once again, this is going to give something. The next thing I recruit, Soaring Flight, but this is gone. And who's going to get Soaring Flight here? Probably just a sidekick. I really need that special sidekick. I don't really want anything else here. So I'm going to spend two and get a special sidekick. Or a sidekick, I hope it's a special one. And... Nope. But good anyway. Yeah, Matt, same thing. I tried to get cards printed before online. And I got that spit back. So go do it yourself. Upload the file. Send it in. And... Uh, that should solve that problem. For sure. Okay, I'm close to having my first uh, escaped tyrant villain, which I don't want. But I was expecting this Grandmaster to escape anyway. Ooh, there's our highest abomination. Oh, so close. I have seven recruit here. Darn. And on top of that... Oh. It's just Marcus. Everybody say hi to Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Ambush charge. Oh, darn. Hey, we got a charge. I hate charge so much. Okay. First, he's going to charge. He's going to let the uh, this guy escape. And second, 
While on the sewers, rooftops, or bridge, he gets plus two in wolf form. So luckily, he won't be right away. It's okay. Again, I expected him to escape. I hate playing against Hyperion Mastermind with stuff like this. But it's fine. There's not a lot of those. So let's do the charge. So I'm going to have a couple of escapes, including the cross-dimensional Deadpool thing. So let's do this in order, and I'll cry about it later. So first... Oh, awesome, Dustin. Thanks. Yeah, um, I have... I might try Alien later. I don't have the... Uh, I have the expansion because I, I got that uh, as a gift, but I don't have the main game, so I might just get that later. But yeah, I just... This is my first time using this exact setup. But thanks for joining. Go ahead and give a follow if you feel like it. You'll name, your name will pop up on the screen if you do. Okay. So he escapes. And the Scheme Twist escape, I don't think that does anything. But the uh, counter goes up for Tyrant Villains and Escape Pile. And this Deadpool also escapes because he charges two spaces. So let's do the thing. First, the Bystander escapes. So that means that we have to discard a card from each hand. How much attack am I going to generate here? Five, six, seven. That extra attack's not going to really do anything. So I'll... Well, neither will the Recruit. It might. I'll discard the this. And then on the right side... Ooh, almost Spectrum. So one, two attack, three attack, five attack. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, um... I should be able to fight him. No, he's in the rooftops. He's gonna be too strong. I want to recruit another sidekick though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of a a trooper. Okay, now Deadpool escapes. Oh, I have to KO, I have to KO something for that uh, tyrant villain. Okay, so what am I gonna KO? Probably Karma. She's the least useful, and I'm not always gonna guess the right color, so I am gonna KO her. Yeah, yeah. So she's KO'd, and we replenish. Oh no, I gotta KO a Hulk now. Well, first Deadpool escapes. So first, let's do our KO. Probably Growing Anger. Hmm. So either Growing Anger or Unstoppable Hulk. This one gives me base two. They both give me base two. This one's gonna have more potential with the wounds I'm getting. So I will get rid of Growing Anger. Oh, no. Yeah, and now I do the now I do the rampage. So that was just for him escaping. Now it's the rampage time. So there are no dead pools anywhere. I'm confident of that much. So that means we get some more wounds now. So one wound for each side. This one goes to the left, and it's a grievous wound, even though Hulk can still get rid of those. And this one goes to the right. That's a standard wound. Now that all that nonsense is over. Luckily, that, that easily could have been two Tyrant Villains instead of just one. So I'm thankful for that, at least. So, bridge, streets, rooftops. Now I can take my turn. I'm exhausted already. So, seven, recruit. Let's go ahead and do... Karma's effect. Top card of the hero deck is... Oh, it is a dual color silk. I need this desperately on the right side. So there's no way in a million years I'm going to take this on the left side. Don't make me do it. If I had... So I was thinking about... <laughs> I was thinking about doing the, uh, the bits thing that uh, Upper Deck does where you can pay bits on Twitch to uh, make me do things like draw and, and, and recruit and, and that kind of stuff. And if somebody paid that right now and made me recruit this, I'd be so mad at you. But that's not happening. And then Trample Under Hoof is going to give me one plus five. So six attack for this Hulk that's sitting here. Beautiful. Okay. He is six because he's in the rooftops. Ten and five. Now, if I fight this, I get another Fateful Resurrection, and I get a uh, 
bystander. He'll be easier to fight as he moves along. But Man-Thing won't. Let's see. Oh, 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 guys. Fun fact. If I fight Man-Thing and get this public speaker, that's going to give me 8 recruit just enough for this. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's spend six, 5 of our 6 attack to fight Man-Thing. So first I'm going to do the... Bystander effect, public speaker. When I get the bystander, I get one more recruit. Ding! There it is. Just what I wanted. Now I gotta do the fateful resurrection here. Hope it's not a Master Strike or a Scheme Twist. It's not. It's a fake Mysterio. I forgot, he's only 8. He has a lower attack because... Oops. He has a lower attack because his whole deal is, um... You know. He comes back. That helps me now. But Man Thing is out of here. Cool. Now let's go ahead. This is going. So if I run, I recruit this. It's going to hurt that uh, highest abomination, but it'll give me ten x five extra attack when I use it because I have a lot of green cards. Good trade off. So let's go ahead and take. Can't see it. Hulk smash. Yeah. One and a half for the three mastermind attacks. What do you what do you mean? I'm missing something. Okay, that's gone. Okay. That's it. Pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Let's move it along. Are there any cool animations I haven't done yet? No, that's pretty much it. Are there any other... Seven from Old Man and seven... My guess is earlier. Okay, yes. Yes, oh, you were talking about how correct you were. Yes, you were. <laughs> you don't have to yell, Kevin. <laughs> okay, um, are there any other effects or things you want to see me do for the setup next time? I figured out how to do a lot of this stuff, so if you want to see anything, I'll do... I'm going to do a turn counter... I think I'll do a turn counter if you want to see that, but anything else, let me know. Maybe a wound effect or something. I don't know, anything fun. Oops, I didn't see that. That's six. And to the other side. I'm like, why are there five cards? Oh, I had to discard one. Okay, now we have the Mysterio Tyrant Villain Enter. I'm so glad I did not discard one of these two, because now I can take that silk here. You have turn counters on previous recorded videos. Yeah, those I did those manually, but I can do them now now that I figured out how to do this. When you hit the mastermind, something that takes a big punching sound. Oh yeah, I ha I'll show it to you right now. It's not great, it's the one I used for my videos. I want, I want something better. Um, hey, yeah, you guys got it. Yeah, here, here it is. Actually, I'm not going to press it until I hit him. You'll see it. It's kind of underwhelming. I'll, I'll get something better for that, I promise. So, two recruit. Um, yep, thank you. And wall crawl. I better get Spectrum next turn with that. Now, one attack, two attack, three attack, four attack. That four attack, I'm going to do nothing because I can't find anything for four. And that's that. Okay, things are going well. And next two hands should be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thanks to the wall crawl. Ooh, check this hand. Why is everything upside down? I can't keep track of this. Okay, I got, uh, I already got Spectrum at these. Beautiful. Thank you, dual type. To the left. You only had solo two hand games on live stream. Would you ever do a duos game? So Matt, I've thought about doing a duos game and doing a solo, uh, like an advanced solo game, the advanced solo, because it's going to be a little faster than the two-handed. But I would do a duos game. I'm just not sure how to logistically do that yet. Um, what I'm thinking is I'd have somebody, I'd have somebody uh, set up the exact same setup as I had on their camera, and then 
right here, I would um, swap out my camera for their their uh, their play area right here, and then we just swap them. I might do a test just for fun once, but I have thought about it. I, logistically, I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, villain first. It is the Shi'ar. Right? No, wait. Yes. Mysteria was last time. This is Shi'ar. Okay, so I can play these and get 4, 8... 11, 12 attack. So yeah, let's, let's let's spread some wounds around, I guess. Oh, I just saw yours, Kevin. When a bystander escapes to disappoint, you failed me or a person screaming. That's really dark, but I might have to do it. Okay, four, and then wounds all around. Do it, okay. Left side, right side. Now let's do it again. Two more wounds. Left side, right side. Cool. So that's eight attack. Um, now I'm gonna go for it, Kevin. I got 11 attack. While I can. I'd rather get the wounds at the same time. Mortal Kombat just sound effects like the evil F. Yeah, I'll look for some more evil, evilly evil stuff. Okay, I'll note all this. Thank you, guys. I'm putting it in a Google Doc for later. 12 attack. One recruit. And a wound. Okay. With that 12 attack, I guess I could take out Mysterio and the henchman. Or when you rescue a bystander, the sound of children screaming, yay. <laughs> well, that makes it think that the bystanders are all children. I don't want that. But I w I, I'll come up for something with those. I'll say that again. I will come up with something for those. Hmm. Let's see. Should I take out Grandmaster? Or should I get Mysterio and the Shi'ar Patrol Craft? And that, but I, you know what? I'm not going to take him out because I can't soaring flight anything. It's kind of a waste. So I'm just going to do the Grandmaster. Just to get him out of the spot he's in. So I lose when there's five Tyrant Villas in the escape pile. So I'm only allowed four more. So if I can get rid of all the ones that come up, I'll be fine. So KO. Down to two. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to fight anything else. That's it. Okay, so we've got rescue by a stander, escaped by a stander. We got a better sound for hit the mastermind. Maybe wounds. DXP actually has a pretty good sound for wounds. I like their sound, but I don't want to take it from my stream. It's theirs. I'm only escaping. I was thinking, Kevin. I was thinking about um, you know the cartoony effect when a the cartoon sound effect when a, somebody runs away real fast. The weep. That would be too silly, I think. Or just in the distance. I'm free! Alright. Which is also too silly. Nice. This is beautiful. Let's see what's next. If it's a master strike, that's going to really screw up what I'm about to do. Oh, good. It's not. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, yes to which one? My stupid sound effect? Or my hand? I'm hoping it's to the hand. Okay, let's play our sidekick. Okay, there's one. I gotta shuffle my... Ooh, should I... Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Is there anything that's gonna do anything with my discard pile? No. So I'll shuffle and do it. Yeah. Yes, yes to the hand for sure. <laughs> I thought you were like, yes, that's the best sound effect I've ever heard. All right. We're an hour and a half in. Thanks for sticking around. It's looking good with this setup. It's not as challenging... It's more daunting. It's it's not beating me down that hard, but it's just taken a while because of all these um all the build up I got to do with the silk hand. But at least I was able to build the silk hand. That's really hard to do when there's only one spidey hero. Okay, here's the second draw for the sidekick. Oh, good, it's another one of these. Okay, 
I have Spectrum, so let's play Cascading Maneuver. Actually, no. This might help later. Let's do her rare first. Okay, Borrowed Cloaking Device. So one attack and then Spectrum. Reveal the top four cards of your deck, put any combination of those cards with a total cost of two or less into your hand. Okay, wait. With a total cost of two or less. Yeah, that means they have to add up to no more than two. Is that right? Am I, am I reading too much into this? I get to draw... I get to draw any of them that cost two or less? Or it has to total two or less? That's confusing wording for me. Anyway. So I drew... This is what I drew. So does that mean put any combination with a total cost of two or less? So that means I could take Silk and then the two zero costs, but I couldn't take all four of them. I think that's what that means, because it says total cost. Yes, please check it out, Matt. We're, we're still working on Chapter 4. It's been kind of slow with our team, but um, yeah, please check it out. We've got chapters one through three. Okay, yep, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take Silk, and I'll draw the sidekick later, so I just get these two. And that goes back. Let's start doing this. Okay, here's the first one. Reveal the top card of your deck to attack. If it costs two or less, draw it. It's that sidekick, so I draw it. Let's do the second one. Two more attack. I draw it. They should all be, except for Cannonball. Cannonball might screw this up. Here's the third one. It's a wound. I guess I draw that too. Here's the fourth one. Another wound. See, the wounds aren't going to really get in the way. So I got two, four, six, eight, nine. I should have nine attack right now. Now we'll do... We'll do... What does it say? Cascading Maneuver? I like that. Silk's art is very good. So one more attack, 10, so you can see it. And then Spectrum draw a card. There we go. Fortunately, I don't have any Silks out here to recruit with all this recruit I'm getting. But let's do our sidekick anyway. Let's play him for two more. Okay, I have a decision to make here with the wounds. You can probably guess what that is. So let's see how much attack I have. So three more attack here, I'm up to 13. And then recruit, I've got one, two, three, four, five recruit here. Let's play all that. Okay, so options. Um, he is in the street, so he's a three. So I can clear out the city pretty well. I can clear out the city pretty well, or I can get rid of all these wounds right now. With the way that I drew this, I don't think the wounds are going to be a problem until there's an overwhelming amount. So I'm going to not do nothing and get rid of these. I'm going to clear out the city. So I can take out this Tyrant for 8. That'll leave me 5 left to take out Marcus. Yeah, that's that's too important to do than, than get rid of the wounds. So let's do that. Make sure that he is not stronger. Yeah. When he's in the sewers, rooftops, or bridge. He's in the street, so he's only a he's only a three attack. So let's do Mysterio here. Who is not really Mysterio. He's an eight. And he is gone for eight. On the right side. And then we'll take out Marcus for three. So no fight effect. He is gone. I would hit the mastermind, but I I really want to clear the city out. I'll get to the mastermind. So that cost me four, uh, 11, so I have two left, right? Yeah, eight, nine, 10, 11, yep, two left. Look how big the villain deck is. I have plenty of time to hit the mastermind. I just want to get rid of these tyrant villains so it's not a problem. Plus I've got two of these here. And I'll recruit another sidekick. Which seems like the logical choice. And here it is. Ooh, yes. I want this for a Spectrum. It'll make it a little easier. Which means I may not play it.
but I'll gain it. And that's it. Pretty good. If only I could have gotten rid of some of those great cards, but that's fine. So Cannonball should be in this. Yeah, there he is. I'm glad he didn't show up. So at this point, I'm going to get rid of Cannonball if I can. Because he'll just put a... He'll put a wrench into the drawing, unless I can just use a draw card on him. Alright, shuffling up. Ooh. YouTube is overtaking Twitch right now. And viewers... All right, moving along, one more draw to the left side. There we go. I'll start hitting the mastermind soon, I swear. What's up, Pudgy? Kevin, what are you testing? Did you do a thing? Okay, uh, villain card. Aha! Thank you for the follow. Beautiful. Oh, Master Strike. <laughs> That's a bummer. Oh, I see what you're testing. So, the Twitch one worked. If your YouTube is private, then it won't pop up. But you already were following, I think. Oh, Twitch is faster as far as latency, you mean? That's what I thought. Yes. Back to home base. Okay. Master Strike. Each player discards two heroes with attack icons. Yeah, that's going to be these. Only ones I can do that aren't Hulk. And I want to get rid of this uh, wound. So that's gone on the right side. Yeah, Twitch is definitely... It's always faster on Twitch. Okay. I only have one to discard. Wait, wait, wait. Why did I only drop... Oh, this one. Oh, I got to discard Cannonball. These two get discarded. Too bad. Yeah, I was thinking about switching to Twitch for a couple of reasons, and one of them is it is a little faster. Okay, and... Um, adapt. So, let's do the adaptation shuffle. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really fair. I put YouTube on low latency mode, but it's still not as fast as Twitch is. And I don't really know why. So I guess if you want to switch to Twitch, if it's not fast enough for you, I'm over there too. I don't know how fast Facebook is though. Okay, here's our new, um, let me just flip it over. Zola again. I swear you saw me shuffle it. He's just too powerful, okay. All right, still him. Which means I should probably hit him all I can. Okay, this Master Strike goes. Now I can do stuff. So let's play Hulk, Unstoppable Hulk to attack. You may KO a wound or from your hand or discard pile. Let's get rid of this Grievous one, please. That one's gone and I get two more attack. Yeah, I should probably hit Zola while I can. I forgot that the attack power changes. And Karma for Recruit. Reveal the top one. Oh, that's good for me to have. You may recruit the top card of the hero deck. This turn, if you do, K one of your cards or a card from your hand. Or discard pile. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... With that four Recruit, I'm going to... Hmm. So I could take this and get rid of something, but it's just two Recruit and Soaring Flight. Now that I'm getting a lot of wounds, I could just get this one instead. Hmm. I don't know. I'm late enough in the game, I don't really need the recruit, but I could still use it. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to use uh, Karma's effect. I'm going to recruit this cannonball. Um, it'll give me more recruit. Yeah, it does have some value, and I can, I can still use the recruit points over here, especially... If I recruit this and I KO one of my cards, which which is this uh, shield agent. So I'm going to recruit this for four. And then he has Soaring Flight. 
and I'm gonna KO this shield agent as I go. Boom. Thanks to Karma's effect. And I will end there. And I have Soaring Flight anyway from this, so I'm gonna go ahead and fight this. Just clear out the city a little bit and just fight it for three because I already had Soaring Flight. Okay. All right, no, no reason not to take the Mastermind out in a little bit. He's wide open. Ooh, and I drew my Hulk Smash. This should be good. Okay, let's move on over. Oh, but this is my entire hand this turn, though. Whoosh. Oh, and Scheme Twist time. This is Scheme Twist number four. Put this twist on a retirement villain as dark power. Haha, -ha, there are none. I got rid of them. Glad I got rid of them. So this is just gone. Oh, by the way, I, I can't forget um, twist eight. They all escape. So here's the thing. When I get there, the way it's going right now, I'm only going to lose if I have four or more. I think I can do this. So four recruit, ta-da, and no silks. You know what that means? Another sidekick. It's gonna be cool. Another special. It's taking a lot of self-control not to recruit anything else over there, but it's getting easy as it goes on. Easier. Okay, on to the left. Hulk smash time. There's my greens. Oh, there's another one. Perfect. And it just goes away. Scheme twist. It's all evil and stuff, but then... Nobody. Okay. Only three more scheme twists. So let's play... Yeah. <laughs> This is the jump scare game. Okay, two recruit. And then two more for the next one. I'm surprised the twist doesn't play another card based on other game setups. Yeah, um, I was I double checked to make sure I'm doing it right. It literally says, put this twist under a tyrant villain as dark power gets plus two. Nothing else on there, so it just goes away if there's no tyrant villains. That would make it kind of hard. That would be like an epic version of this scheme. So I played both of these cannonballs. Um, I get one soaring flight triggered by one of these. Now, guess what, guys? Say it with me. Hulk smash. Ten attack. I don't know. They do a pretty good job. I'm pretty sure it's on purpose. Thank you. Dre's got it. Hulk smash. A Hulk smash. Hulk smashes in the chat, everybody. Okay. 11 attack. And two recruit. Wait, hold your second cannonball for a sidekick. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Hmm. I thought I was only going to recruit one thing. No, I'm going to recruit, uh, I'm going to recruit Gorgon. Yeah. Yeah. I could, yeah, I, I, that's right, I only get one anyway. So I get two, four, six recruit. So if I recruit Gorgon now, what do I get? I can KO one of my cards with no attack icon. Okay, I can get one of these too. But um, I'll hit the Mastermind first. And can anybody else really go for a burrito right now? Because I know I can. Okay. Let's hit the mastermind. Oh, you want to see my, my dinky animation? This is going to have to be updated. Let's hit the mastermind. Yay. <laughs> I need something better. <laughs> okay, I got five left. Let's do the thing. <laughs> I need a better animation for that. I'll, I'll, I'll shop around for it. I got as, I only had as much time to do what I did. Okay, you may, you may gain a hero from the HQ with an attack I got. Oh, wow. So with that logic, man, California burritos, there's nothing better. They're so good. 
I wish you hadn't said that. Now I'm going to have to finish this game thinking about California burritos. Um, yeah. So I will use this. Oh, you're right, you're right. If I... It says Gany Hero. So whatever I get from this Mastermind does not get Soaring Flight. So maybe what I should do is... I want to I want to soaring flight this Gorgon. Oh, are are you right? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. He gets plus attack total printed of all the. No, no, he gets attack for equal to the total printed attack of all heroes in the HQ. You're right. You're right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He is fifteen. I forgot that. Which means I can still hide him. I I can still hit him. It'll just take everything because I had. Right? Did I have ten? No, I had ten. Eleven. I had eleven. So, right, I couldn't hit him. Wow, S Scott saves the day with the rules. So, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to... Since I can see what his fight effect does, it's not going to change what I do. So, I'm going to recruit one of these things with two attack. Which could only lower him down to a 13. And I still couldn't hit him, though. Yeah, the max attack he's going to have this turn. He's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. I can only lower him to 13, so I still can't hit him. Darn. Okay, you're totally you're totally right. Oh. No, this is just... Well, here's the thing. If I do that, I still can't fight him, which means I won't be able to get this Gorgon. So no, no, there's nothing I can do to fight him this turn. Which is unfortunate, but it's reality. So I am instead going to just recruit Gorgon and fight this Shi'ar patrol craft, or save it for later. Mm, I'll save it for the for another soaring flight. Save the Shi'ar, yeah. Okay, can't fight him because he's a 15. This will lower him to a 14 plus whatever shows up. So let's. Ah, oh, disappointing. Okay. This is why I have my undo counter button. So let's undo the... Where is it? Counter countdowns. Undo mastermind strike. Yep, back to zero. Okay, recruiting Gorgon for six. And when recruited, you may KO one of your cards and no attack. Let's KO one of these. It's gone. And let's go ahead and recruit him for six. And soaring flight him. That's right. And with 11 attack, let's see what it's replaced with. Oh, same deal. But I could use this on the right, so I'm glad I did that. All right, Zola's safe for this turn, even with that attack. Lucky him. So I guess I did want him to turn it to somebody else. Oh, if I... <laughs> Dre, that's a good point. You know what? I was hoping to do it subtly, but that's a little... That's funny. I, I mostly intended that for like when uh, there's scheme twists that end up back in the deck. But in that case, it's not really undoing the bad stuff. It's just pushing it to later. But I, I get your point. I like that. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I was absolutely insane, I would do a sound effect for each different hero, but I'm not that crazy, despite what you may think. Okay, over to the right. Also, half the game would be me looking for sounds. Which button is it? Okay, I got Spectrum, thanks to her dual, dual typing. And, oh, we've got Alligator Trapper. If the sewers are empty, I get two recruits. So, if I fight this, I get two bonus recruit and a, and a uh, Soaring Flight. Which is good. So let's do some Spectrum stuff. Spectrum. Long range spider sense. To attack, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it costs two or less, draw it. You need a personal DJ. Yeah, I need somebody over here with a soundboard. I'll tell you what, if I hit a, if I hit a thousand subscribers, I might do that. I'm still working on 200. <laughs> okay. Um, one. Okay. Cost two or less, draw it. I did that. Second one. 
draw it. And the third one, draw it. Not great, but not terrible. Okay, that's two more attacks, so I'm at six. Where is six? There it is. Plus, let's do this one. One more attack. And draw a card. We've got... Interesting. Okay. Two more attack from these. Nine. One recruit. And I didn't play the special sidekick yet. So... I only have one recruit. If I fight this, I get two recruit and I get to, um... Yeah, I'm gonna save the sidekick. So, I'm going to... I can either get rid of my wounds again, don't have to do that. If I fight this Shi'ar, I get Soaring Flight, and then I get two extra recruit I can use to get this Silk. I don't know, is this her, um... Common or Uncommon? I think this is her uncommon, so I think that's her common, other common. Reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero, KO it. If it costs one or two, draw. Ooh, that's very useful. So what I, I will do this. So first I'm going to fight the Shi'ar uncommon. Okay, good. That's great. I want that. So I'm going to fight the Shi'ar patrol craft for three. So turn this down to six. And next thing I get, next thing I fight gets Soaring Flight. Rescue this bystander. Patrol the sewers. If it's empty, you get to recruit, which it is. I get two more recruit. And let's refill. And then I'm going to recruit this silk with Soaring Flight. So she is recruited for two on top of my deck. And that's it. I can start getting rid of some cards now. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at recognizing the difference there. So here is, yeah, half border versus full border. Yeah, when these when these uh, custom cards are made, the borders were done incorrectly. So I think that's why I get messed up there. Maybe they'll redo them at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six. On to the left. You should be able to combo the KO with Silk's rare card too, as long as you have a Spectrum. Yes. That is true. My favorite thing about this setup is the turn changing. It's much easier this way. I press a button, it keeps track. Oh, also keeping track of the effects too is better. All right, this is good. And we've got another Tyrant. Let's get rid of him, shall we? Let me just check. How many tyrants have... I can't really check that easily. How many tyrants have defeated? Ah, uh, it's not important right now. Okay. I've got two of these highest abominations. So the question is... Should I play it now? I need 15 attack... Well, how much attack? 6 plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... I need 15. I could try to recruit some stuff and lower his attack a little bit. The highest abomination I'm going to get is plus two. So I think I want to do some recruits first. Play one, hold the second till after recruit. I think you're right. So I can do the Soaring Flight. So let's play this first one. That'll give me one plus two for highest abomination. So three over here. Now we'll play Cannonball. Two recruit and then the Soaring Flight for the next hero I recruit. And then we'll play all of these. So I'm at six. So, hmm. How many wounds do I... I don't have a lot of wounds right now. But I will... Yeah. I, think, I was thinking of that too. So I will recruit Unstoppable Hulk. And he... I need a Soaring Flight symbol because this is just recruit, but... Okay, so he's soaring flights to the top. That's two recruit left. Let's see who gets re who it's replacing him with. Oh, good. This has no attack symbol on it. So now Zola is what? He's 13. But when I play this, it's only going to give me three more. So I'm only up to six. Uh, that's it. 
Well, I mean, that's not great. I have to keep uh, milling these down until I get another strong card and just leave it there for the highest abomination. I, ha I took that Hulk, but... Hmm. Okay, well, it's sidekick time. And we've got... Okay. Not really helpful, but I'll take you. And that's it. Nothing else to be done. But I have seven cards on my next hand. You could have an animation sound for every keyword that would require morning radio show DJ skills. Yeah. Also, it might get really annoying. <laughs> so, maybe not. But hey, if you guys want it, I'll do whatever you guys want. I'm, really, I'm just glad you guys are here. For sidekick, grab some audio. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know. Uh, when it comes to, like, copyrighted audio... If I ever do Twitch affiliate or whatever, I don't know how that's going to work. Hey, thanks for the follow. I'm going to try to say your name. Smazek. Thank you, Smazek, for the uh, Twitch follow. really appreciate that. What am I... Uh, can anybody check how many followers I'm at on Twitch? I was trying to get to 50 because that's what I need for affiliate. Um, what am I at? I can't tell. I'm at 49... Oh my gosh, I need one more. If anybody wants to follow and hit, get 50, that'd be amazing. Okay, what was I doing? Villain time. Okay, another one of these tyrants. Cool. Let's do the thing. So, yeah, these two can combo. Okay, borrowed cloaking device. Yeah, that'll reveal. So then I can do this. Yes, I'll do that. So first I'll do... One attack. Top four cards of my. Oh, wait, do I have Spectrum? I do have Spectrum. Okay. <laughs> Matt, appreciate that. I'm really excited to get 50. That's awesome. I can. Uh... I think the requirement for Twitch affiliate was 50 subs and then some other things as far as, you know, consecutive viewers and, and stuff. I, I think I have all the other requirements because of you guys. So thank you so much. I'm just here playing a game and you're watching me, but it means a lot. Okay, one, two, three. Here it is. Here's the top four. Oh, any combination that costs two or less into your hand. So I can put them all into my hand. And I don't want to ca- Hmm. If they're still doing it at Amazon. Yeah, they do. Amazon does, um, that's a subscribe with Twitch Prime, but I don't think anybody can subscribe. I don't think anybody can subscribe, um, until I get Twitch affiliate. So I have to do that first and then you can do subscriptions. Yeah, I'm just happy to be playing this game. It's, it takes the mind off. Okay, so should I draw three, then play Silk so I can KO one of these? I don't think so. I think I'm going to play this sidekick. I'm going to take all four of these. Because I don't want to get rid of my attack points right now. I need everything I can get. So I'm going to draw everything. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Uh, yes, let's do... Let's keep going. Okay, two more attack. Top card of the deck is... Yep, draw that. Now let's play Silk Stalking. I get it. So one more attack. Let's see what the top card is. Zero. It does cost zero. So goodbye. That was great. That's how I'm going to get rid of my wounds. And then all my grays. One, two, three, four... Plus four recruit. And then plus three attack. Oh, I'm seven, not minus three. Would you guys prefer, if I can get this to work, would you prefer uh, virtual attack and recruit counters I do with the buttons, or do you rather would you rather have it as dice here? I don't know if it's gonna be much easier to manipulate, but I could I could do both. And just easily clear them after a turn. Although that would be a lot of pressing buttons between turns. I, my preference is the dice, but you tell me what you like. 
Okay. Yeah, but I think dice are just the best way to go. I just need a better way to display. I need the the camera needs to be different so it doesn't really fish eye those as much. I'll I'll test it on my own and see if it's easier. Okay, what am I at? Yeah, I, I think you guys are right. Okay. If I do this, I get another card. I just need one more attack to hit uh, hit this one. So I'm gonna try to go for it. Because I have enough I have enough cards to do my um spectrum, I think. I'm pretty solid in that. So let me rescue a bystander here. We've got... Oh! Have I used this one lately? I haven't seen this in a long time. Animal Trainer. When you rescue this bystander, each... Oh, each of these uh, covert and... Each of these covert instant heroes currently in the HQ cost one less. Not going to really help me out. But thanks. And then back to this. Draw a card. I want it to be attack. Please attack. Yes, it is. Put it on the bottom of the sidekick stack. Gone. Oh, awesome, Dre. Thank you. I have a couple... I have a couple of commission, commission games. Uh, yours is the second I have. It triggers an effect. What triggers an effect? Cannonball. What am I missing? How does Cannonball trigger an effect? I haven't played him yet. He has Soaring Flight. Yeah, I haven't played him yet. I'm playing him now. I'm like, well, did I miss? I, no, no problem. I want you to call me out if you think I missed something. So right now, I get eight, and I don't think I triggered the superpower. I didn't play any covert cards, or covert instant cards, but I do get Soaring Flight for the next sidekick, and I have eight attack, so I will attack this Tyrant for all eight I've got, and this Tyrant is gone. All right, now with my four recruits, I have I'm going to get another sidekick with soaring flight. We've got a standard one, so this one's going to soaring flight. I'll do this effect over to the top of my deck. Okay, I still can't hit Zola. I got to keep recruiting some high cost things. Robo Fox, thank you for the follow. I think oh, well, Robo Fox beat you to it, unless that is you, Matt. That's number fifty. I've got 50 followers. Thank you all so much. You're all amazing. Oh, I can't believe that. That's so cool. You guys are great. Okay. To, to celebrate my 50 subscribers, I'm going to win this game. I promise. Asterisk. Promise not necessarily going to happen. We are Master Strike time. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> no problem. You can still follow me later. But thank you, Robo Fox. Why is the why is the Twitch name so small? I don't know how to fix that later. Okay. So maybe Zola's gone for good this time. Okay. Each player discards two cards, two heroes with attack icons. Huh. So if I get rid of both of these, that'll give me four, five, six, seven, eight attack. But if I get rid of these, that'll also give me eight attack. Yeah, it's pretty great. Thanks for watching on Twitch, everybody. I, I don't know how many of you switched from YouTube to Twitch, but this gives me a good uh, good analytics on what you guys want to, what, what works best for you. And 19 total viewers, including Facebook. That's awesome. All right. So... I get rid of these two and I end up with eight attack and I get rid of a wound. I get rid of these two and I get eight attack and everybody gets more wounds. So I think the best thing to do is keep this one, get rid of these two, but eight attack's not going to do anything for me anyway. I need 10 to hit him. 
So I'm not even going to play my attack. You know what? I'm going to play this just to get rid of a wound. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just discard these two. I'm not even going to play this one. Unfortunately, on the right side... Two cards with an attack icon, huh? It's going to be these two, easily. And adapt. Okay. Place your bets. We've got Zola, Viper, Helmet Zero, Helmet Zemo, and Red Skull. Who is it going to be? It's been Zola three times. I kept the side... Um, I have a regular sidekick, so I got rid of... Um, Well, psychic, that one doesn't have. Right, I could have done that, but then I would have had to get rid of another another um, spectrum. Yeah, another uh, so, so so it was either the sidekick or self. Okay, and let's flip it. It is. Oh my gosh! I swear to God, I'm shuffling these. I got Zola again. It hasn't been anybody else. I guess it's a 1 in 4 chance. It's not that crazy, but still. I'm getting tired of him. Ugh, okay. So, I will play this. Two attack. It doesn't matter. I'm not even going to count the attack. It's not going to bother. Okay, I'm going to KO this wound. <laughs> They're right here. See? <laughs> I did not stack the deck. Okay. KO'd. I get plus two, but it doesn't matter. I get one recruit, but it doesn't matter. And because I didn't fight or recruit anything. Oh, shoot. Well, I have no... You know what? Instead of KOing this, I'm going to use this to KO one of my discard. There isn't one. Well, then I'll play nothing. you got to recruit those with attacks so it gets cheaper. Yeah. Okay, question for you guys. Here's a question. I, I don't think I've ever been in this situation before where I can't attack anything and I can't recruit anything. So by default, do the wounds just go away no matter what I do? I don't think I have a choice here. If you don't recruit any heroes or defeat any villains in your turn... Oh, you may. I do have a choice. I do, I do have a choice. I'll get rid of them, though. So I'll just do nothing, and I'll get rid of these. Yeah, you're right, Drufus, but I can't recruit anything this turn. Okay. I forgot about the May language. Okay, to the right! What do we have? Oh, we're, we hit... We went over two hours, I didn't even notice. Thank you for sticking around. Okay, this already went away. And we've got another man thing. Man thing is gonna do his man thing. And each monster Metropolis villain captures a bystander. He is the only one. So he gets, oops, he gets a standard one from the villain set. And he's got his faithful resurrection. He could be good for getting multiple bystanders. Okay, let's do this thing. First, let's play her, we know what it does. Two attack lets me look at the top and draw the the, the standard thing that spider spidey heroes do. And it does, I draw that. I play the second one. Two more attack. And I draw this one. Yep, I get to draw it. So I'll play the third one. Just two more attack. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't have spectrum. That's right. So by that lot, let me back up. I'll play the sidekick. I draw these two cards. Now I have Spectrum. Now I can do this. Okay, thank you. I got ahead of myself. So now I play this for two. Now I play this for two. I got it and I draw that. Now I play this for two. I mean, did I screw this whole thing up? I started with two blue silks. Okay. I don't think it matters. I was going to keep drawing them anyway. 
Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Galapur. Yeah, it's been two hours. I'm... Okay. Thank you for being here. Join the 50 Twitch follower celebration. All right. So that... I'm just going to go with this. That would, it would have happened that way anyway with the sidekick. So now I will... Yeah. One, two, three... What was I doing? Oh my gosh, I forgot where I was. Can anybody rewind and tell me what my starting hand was? <laughs> it's not important. Okay. I'll play this. I'll draw two. Or draw the top one. I'll play this. Yeah, I, I, sidekick, recruit. I'll draw the top one. I got this. I think this is fine. So I've got six. Yeah, this is where I should be. So six attack, three recruit, and I have cascading, cascading maneuver left. One more attack. Spectrum draw a card. I have this. Yeah, that's what that's where it was. And four more recruit. A four recruit. One, two, three, four. Okay, four recruit, seven attack. Thanks, Escalapor. I put a lot of work into it. People seem to be enjoying it. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Oh, Excalibur, you haven't even seen what happens when Master Strikes and Scheme Twists happen. Alright, 7 attack. Let's go ahead and fight Man-Thing for 5. So he's going to be fought. I've got this. That's rescued. And then uh, Fateful Resurrection. Let's see. Not resurrected. So he is just defeated. Thank goodness. And this is going to give me another sidekick. Here it is. Cool. Special. Okay. Unfortunately, with this thing I'm doing with Soak, not taking anything from the HQ, it keeps Zola strong. But uh, what are you going to do? Here's the scheme. I'll put it up for you. Yes, it's that one. So there are, and let me pop up the the setup for you. Oops, oh that was that was happening anyway. I did that I did that early. I meant to do this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I do this. Okay, that's the setup today. Yeah, so uh, there are twelve extra or yeah twelve extra mastermind tactics in the villain deck as tyrant villains, and when they escape, it ticks up the lose counter, the evil wins counter. So far, I've only let one escape. I've defeated a few. I'm doing pretty good. Villain deck has plenty of guys in it. Okay, on to the left side. Okay. Oops. Here's my hand. Why would you put the council as the mastermind? That's how. That's. Oh shoot. Hydra High Cancel came up that way. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yep. So they're controlling everybody. And I've I've adapted multiple times, but I've only drawn Zola even after shuffling. I don't know why. Okay, so we have another one enter the city. He's the easiest to defeat, so I should probably t try to take him out. Let's do this thing in order. Do I really care about Soaring Flight? Let's see how much attack I get first. So, one attack from the gray. I'm going to generate also 10 total. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. Yeah, no Thanos today. But, okay, this turn I can hit the Mastermind for sure. So, let's do Unstoppable Hulk next. I can get rid of a wound on my hand or discard pile. Let's look at the discard pile first. No wounds there. So, let's KO this wound. Give me plus two more, so he's at five. Now, what order do I want to do these in? If I do it in this order, it'll give me a six, seven, eight, and then 18 total. Is that plus one extra really going to do much for me? So 18 will hit for, yeah. The plus one attack's not going to really help. So I'm going to play Growing Anger first. Just so I can get the, um. oh, you know what? Yeah, so I can uh, so I can soaring flight a sidekick to my hand next turn. Okay, two more attack for this one. Doesn't trigger the power. 
but oh. one more time in the chat Hulk smash 10 attack from him so 17 gotta love that flavor text and then we've got cannonball to recruit and the next hero I recruit gets soaring flight Dre's on it with the Hulk smash thank you okay 17 let me just confirm how many how strong he is six seven eight nine ten eleven he's 13 so I have four attack left yeah they're great aren't they this one in particular this is an official promo this is an official promo from upper deck yeah okay yeah the MCU I guess the base the advantage of the base MCU cards is that they are different unlike the core set so I've got four attack left I finally hit the mastermind one more time for reals this time let's do our little the most awesome mastermind strike animation I could come up with are you guys ready for this here it is nice <laughs> that really sells it right there okay so now I gain a hero from the HQ with an attack icon this is useful over here I am going to once again yeah I'll take Unstoppable Hulk. I know. It, it's just, just just perfection. Okay, and he is gained, so he goes to my discard. Oh, nice. Another non-attack. Okay, let's adapt. Oh, no. I defeated him. So this tactic is gone, so no more Zola. Yeah, that's the one <laughs> That's the one graphic. Oh, you didn't, you didn't get to see the Master Trikes Game Twist one, so those are much better. Okay, so he's gone. No more Zola in this entire game. Great. Now we adapt. Yeah, now it doesn't matter. So now I can use Gorgon's thing. Okay. Any guesses who's it going to be? Where's it going to stop? Nobody knows. It's hard to shuffle three cards. Put that in the middle. It was Zemo. Nice job, Drufus. Okay, Zemo gets minus one attack for each villain in your victory pile. Oh, goodness. That's good for late game. I'll have to calculate that at the moment. But let me just see it right now. So here's my left side victory pile. Not a villain. One, two. These count as tyrant villains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Lo siento, uh... No habla espanol, muy bien. I'm working on it. All right. Um, where was I? Six. So he's a ten right now. He'll be better on the other side. He'll be weaker. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Two recruits. Um, let's get that sidekick and let's uh, soaring flight it. It's a uh, hairball. And move on to the other side. Making progress. And then one, two, three. Okay, it looks like Facebook chat's not popping up in the on the screen. I don't know why. Facebook's being weird on Streamlabs. I may just have to abandon it at some point. But if I just go to Twitch eventually, that won't be a problem. Four, five, six. Okay, moving on to the right side. Ba bam. Okay, what damage is going to be done? Not that much. Good. Okay, so there's only... Uh, combining Master Strikes and Scheme Twist, there's only four left. Or five left, actually, in the deck. So there might be a while till they show up. Which is good for me. I'm not going to complain about that. Let's do... I do have Spectrum. I got three colors, thanks to her dual typing. And I can do... Wow, the camera's really angled. Yeah, Kevin, I see your comments in my chat and the app, but not on the screen. 
You know what? Let me just see if I check the chat box properties. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Kevin just put a test in the, the chat box on Facebook. Okay. What was I doing? I was doing something. Oh, yes. I was playing that to attack. I reveal the top card. If it costs two or less, draw it. It does. I draw that. Let's play hairball here. One more attack. Draw a card, and then it goes away. Oh, nice. That was a good gamble. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, still nothing. I don't know. Yeah, Facebook is giving me the most trouble when it comes to streaming. Okay, now... What should I play? Let's take a... Let's take a... Let's, let's do, um... Yes, it does. I, I appreciate the live troubleshooting. When I'm doing a private video to test, I can't do comments, so... You know, whatever. Okay, Spectrum, draw a card. There it is. Should have done that other silk. But what are you going to do? Okay, silk stocking. One more attack. The top card of the deck is... Yeah, I have to. Let's KO it. It cost zero. It gets KO'd. I'll play the sound for fun. Boom. Camera's all messed up. Okay, and... Two attack and two recruit from here. So I'm up to seven and four. Seven and four. All right, let's see. I have enough to take out Mole Man, but he gets minus one for each villain in my victory pile, so let's see. So I have a lot here. So 16 minus one, let's count 15, 14. Adjudicator 5050, thank you so much for the follow. You guys are awesome. I lost my count, but it's not a problem. Okay, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. He is only an 8. I still can't hit him, but he's very weak on the right side. So with the 7, I will take out Mole Man, who has no effect. He is just a 7, so fight. And he made the Mastermind weaker by doing that. 4 Recruit on the Silk side is going to be another sidekick. It's Lockjaw. Phasing is actually pretty good for this side. Lockjaw is the most reusable. Or he, he's one of the most useful uh, special sidekicks because you can use him over again and again if you just want to phase him. He's my favorite of the specials. Zabu's useful early game, but still. So that's that. Pretty good. Taking out those tyrants. Easy does it. Try not, to, try not to think about California burritos. I'm like, why is Hairball here? Oh yeah, he's soaring. He flew in. Can imagine what that looks like. Okay. That's upside down. Oh, it's another Deadpool. Okay, at least one side has the Deadpool in the victory pile. Well, you phase him every turn until you don't. You know, you, you use him when you use him. Unless you never use him. Okay. The wounds aren't as big of a deal right now with Deadpool. I'm going to move this over so there's less of a shadow. Okay. What do I have to work with? Karma. Karmic balance first. This will help me clear out the HQ a little bit, maybe. Unless something's here. Hmm. Look what I have revealed. Natural leader cannonball. Oh, yeah, he is great. The, two, the, two, the special sidekicks work so well with the spiders. And super handy if you need to guess the top. Yes. Absolutely. Um, which may come up over here on the right. So, Soaring Flight, return a shield hero from your discard pile to your hand. That's not that useful. I'm trying to get rid of them. The two attack is nice. But it's not the best. I'll keep that in mind, though. I gotta fix this. Fix. There we go. Okay, four recruit. Two more recruit makes six. Let's play this two attack for two. 
and let's play a hairball. One more attack. Draw a card. Nice. Abomination 3 and be better than the card. Yeah. That's true. To have him in the HQ. He's, that's the highest attack so far, especially since uh, uh, Zola's gone. And he goes away. Now, I've got two highest abominations. So, before I play this... Before I play this... Oh, Matt, you got home. <laughs> Thanks for following. Look at Recruit Lockjaw. Yeah, I'll show you. Here, here's Lock... Here's Lockjaw. Oh no, you meant the other Lockjaw. The This one. <laughs> you know what the f the phasing hero uh, sidekick is. Yeah. So, when recruited, I can teleport something from my hand. You may teleport another card from your hand. I'm not going to trigger that. I don't really have any reds over here. I don't know. But I want to recruit first, so Cannonball gets into the city. So that um, the highest abomination cards get stronger. So if I let Cannonball go into the city, then I'm going to have 3 attack plus 4, 5, 6, I'm going to have 11 attack. And I think that's enough to take out the Mastermind again. So let me recruit something first for 6. What's most useful? I probably... Probably Hulk. At least he'll get in there. Yeah, right now I just want to take Hulk. So I'll recruit Hulk for three. So he's getting recruited. Now the highest abomination is stronger. I've got three left here. And I'll come back to that. Let me play the... Well, I might get something better. Should I recruit something else? I don't really want any of these. Yeah, so Karmic Balance gives me more recruit and lets me recruit stuff, but we're too late in the game for that, I think. I don't really need that much recruit right now. Sorry, Red Card and HQ. Yeah, I, I showed you. Um, Soaks in the HQ. Yeah, I want more Soaks in the HQ, so I probably should take something else here on the left side. Oh boy. Do we have any reds over here? None of these are going to work really well on the left side. I th I don't know what to do. Should I let some things escape? Cannonball will soar. Yeah, he will. It's not great. Yeah, I'll just take him and see what happens. So let's go ahead and get Cannonball over here. And replace him. Hopefully it was something good. Hmm. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point where since I got the cards I wanted, it starts to get weird. That's okay. So I'm going to play both of these. That's true. I do have those yellow hulks I forgot. Okay, trample under hoof. Uh, I got two of these. So one plus three. So they're each going to be four. <clears throat> so I get eight total attack for both of these. So I'm up to 11. Okay, so let's see how much I can hit the Mastermind for. It's minus one attack for each villain in your victory pile. So once more, he's at 16, 15, 14. Oh, that's not, that doesn't count. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Cool, he's at 10. I can totally hit him. So let's put him back here for my awesome animation. Turn this down to one. Brace yourself for this wonderful special effect. Got it. <laughs> so let's let's do the fighting. Each other player KOs a Hydra villain from their victory pile or gains a wound. Adapt. I don't see why not. Who do I have? Since he's gone. Do I have a Hydra villain? I may not. Oh, the very first one. Um, yeah, I'll KO Hive. I don't want that wound. Okay, two down, three hits to go. That's 
That's it. I'm bidding left hand now. Yeah, well, I just nerfed the left hand and I, I took out a mastermind twice, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, place your bets on which side has the more victory points. If you're keeping track, you have your Excel spreadsheet in front of you. You should be able to tell me right at the end. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. So not Hydra the villain group, just if they are in Hydra. That's a good question. I'm pretty sure they mean the villain group. Because there's no team affiliations. There's multiple Hydra... Now because... Um, this Mastermind doesn't have an always leads. Because it's a adapting one. Right? Is that right? I think so. But, um, yeah, if it's, I think if it's any villain group that has the word Hydra in it, that works. Okay. All right, we'll just go with that. Okay, I was about to pull a card here, I think. This is... Okay, another one. There's regular Hydra, and yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like the cross-dimensional rampage. Any villain group that has Hydra in it, that works. All right, let's do Super Silk here. Cloaking device. The hardest thing about this spider, these Spidey cards, is keeping the dice updated because they do it so often. Okay, top four cards are these. So I'm oh, that total two or less. Did you Spectrum? Darn it. I always forget. I'm like, oh yes. Nope. I didn't Spectrum. I will eventually. Oh no, I won't actually. <laughs> no Spectrum. I don't know what it is about that, but for some reason, it doesn't click. That's fine. No Spectrum. One, two, three, four, five. Five attack. Three recruit. That's it. Okay. Hydra Tactic cards in your VP counts as a shield level. Oh, wait, Hydra Tactic cards in your VP counts as a shield level? Oh no. Okay. It does. So that means the Hydra level is wrong right now. But that it wouldn't have affected anything I did because the Hydra level of Zola. Yeah. So okay, Hydra. So what what contributes to the 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 shield slash Hydra level? Oh no, shield level. Okay, sorry, rephrase. So the only thing that counts towards Hydra level is escaped, uh, escaped high, escaped shield and Hydra things, right? All right. So shield level. I don't have to worry about the shield level right now, but they would. That's right. I got confused because you said that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Not, nothing changed. You guys. You guys confused me. <laughs> Just escape points counts. So the Hydra level is just two right now. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Well, so with five attack, I could take out this Deadpool. And he'll resurrect. But he has cross-dimensional Deadpool rampage. Which side has the Deadpool in the victory pile? Oh, shoot. It's the left side. Okay. As long as I'm doing everything right, I'm, I'm good with that. What the heck? Did I just not see it? I must be blind right now. Where is Deadpool? I, I'm going crazy here. No. What the heck? You don't have shield characters. No, no problem. It's fine. Oh, I'm an idiot. Look, there's Deadpool. He escaped. So I won't be safe from this. It's not the worst thing in the world because I've been dealing with wounds pretty effectively. So I'm just going to take him out anyway. I can handle the wounds. So let's fight him for five. And he's gone. Let's see if he comes back with Fateful Resurrection. He does not. Thank goodness. So that's that. And now I have to do the cross-dimensional. 
so everybody gets a wound. This one goes to the right. This one goes to the left. All right. No, right hand does gain a wound. Oh no, you're right. It, it do oh, you're right. Dre is right because he goes to my victory pile. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Does he go to my victory pile before I do the cross dimensional? Yeah, so then I shouldn't have gotten the wound last time I did it. Well, no, I did. I'm sorry. He escaped last time, so I did it right. This time, right doesn't get a wound. Good. <laughs> it's like horror movie Oprah. Okay. You're right, you're right. So only the left side gets a wound. The right side is safe because he already had Deadpool. You are 100% correct. Okay. Yeah, every game, it's the amount of expansions that there are. It's insane, and every game is different, and I'll probably never have the same game twice. And there's more expansions coming out, so I can't even wait. It's fun to watch. But it's really hard to keep track of everything, so I'm glad you guys are here. Speaking of keeping track of everything. I fought Deadpool. I did both effects. I spent the five. How have you been doing cross-dimensional, Kevin? Specifically with Deadpool, or... Yeah, that was that was that was brutal last time. Okay, so I'm left with three recruit. Uh, let's keep the sidekick train going. He's got another one, just for you guys. Let's let's recruit it officially. Recruit. Well, um, there already have been leaked. Like, if you go to Miniature Market and look up the pre-order for Annihilation, you can actually see the preview text, and it of course says Annihilus is in there. And it says the Fantastic Four are working with the Heralds. So it makes it seem like there's going to be Heralds and Fantastic Four in the hero deck. Some people are speculating split cards like uh, Civil War. With with a Fantastic Four member on one side and a Herald on the other. But I don't know. Yeah, a Galactus Hero would be incredible. If there's no Doom Hero, I am going to be 100% shocked. That would be funny if it's like... Evil, if it's a uh, Galactus and Doom and Annihilus against Fantastic Four, it'd be disappointing. I don't really want to read Richard's Mastermind. My hands already here. So they did officially say um, when they were doing their their chat with the game devs that they are not allowed to. Um, they're not allowed to since the core set. They're not allowed to have expansions that include Fantastic Four characters without being an exclusively Fantastic Four set. That's why we haven't seen any Fantastic Four in Secret War or Civil War or anything. So this is their only chance to get more Fantastic Four out. So there's going to be nothing else except for uh, F4. And I think Kang and Nihilus both count as Fantastic Four villains. D Doom definitely does. So that's how we're going to get them. And I'm fine with that. If we're going to get them, if that's the way we have to get them, we'll get them that way. All right, ready to generate a bunch of attack? Let's do this. Okay, Crazed Rampage for attack. Each player gains a wound. Okay, for the left, for the right. SC2 isn't my life. Thank you so much for the follow. I, didn't, I should put a follow counter up for this game. That was like four follows. That's great. Yeah. I don't know. I'd be more happy with an Annihilus and Kang than alternate universe evil Reed Richards. I mean, they could have made Reed Richards a mastermind in Civil War, but they went with Tony Stark. Okay, let's four attack. One more time. I'm giving you a chance to get your chats ready. Here we go. Hulk smash. Ten attack. Fourteen. I love this card. Unstoppable Hulk. Two more attack, and then I can KO a wound for my discard. Do I have a Grievous in here? <laughs> Dre, you're always on it. Hulk smash. You guys gotta have conviction like Dre does to Hulk smash every time. Okay, KO this wound, so I get a total of plus four. Oop. And I do a remix. Okay, 18 total attack. This is going great. I always tell myself, by the way, that if, if I lose the game real fast, I'll do a second one, but now we're in almost three hours, and that's not gonna happen. Okay, one recruit for this. I may or may not play this yet, we'll see. So 19 attack, I love Hulk. I, I just read, I've seen, I of course I've seen Ragnarok, I saw the animated movie, but I just actually read uh, Planet Hulk for the first time. It was probably the best story I've read in the entire Marvel order I'm reading so far. It was so good. Okay, so if I want to hit this mastermind, let's see what I have to do. 
Okay, Viper gets plus one for each Hydra villain in the city. There are no Hydra villains in this city, so she is just a nine. So let's hit her for nine, shall we? Let's do the thing. Hitting her for nine. Yeah, this scheme actually helped me because it's less likely Hydra villains are going to show up. Okay. Whoop. Okay, fight. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Adapt. Oh, goodness. This is the only one that I haven't played. Okay. All of those were fantastic. Runaways was great, but I think Planet Hulk was a... So Runaways is, is one of my favorites. I think Planet Hulk was a better self-contained story than Runaways because of the, all the establishing they had to set up because none of those characters existed. It's, it's, it's very close. Civil War was excellent. The tie-ins kind of took away from it a little bit in some respects and added to it in others. A New Avengers is also fantastic. I think those are my... Those are right under it for me, but Planet Hulk, I think, is just a little bit above it, but they're all fantastic. Don't, don't take anything away from those. Okay, um, this is going to be discarded, and then I'm going to draw one more. Nice. And this is defeated. And adapt. I would switch the Mastermind attack effect to the big window for when you defeat a regular villain and do something more epic in the big window for defeating the Mastermind. Yeah. I'm going to do something like that. Let me read yours again. Yeah, this is my KO. I already got that. I'll figure something else out for the main window. This is just some dipping, dipping my toe into this. Okay, you guys, let's adapt. Oh my gosh, it's Red Skull. Oh, hold on. Hold on, you guys. I can't do a final blow attack against the Hydra High Council, can I? Because there's only four of them. I usually do final blow. But they don't have a main one. So I can't. So there's one more one more hit and it's, it's gone. It's one attack for each two Hydra levels. So you know what? I can't do a final blow. Unless I hit him twice, but that's not going to make sense. So let me edit this. Uh, let me edit this to say... Zero out of four. Because there is no main card to get. So I can't really do that. So only one more hit and I win. That's it. Which I can do right now. <laughs> Excalibur, you're totally right. Wait, how strong is this card, by the way? Plus one for each two Hydra levels. Okay, the Hydra level is two. So he is eight. So I can hit him. Let's do it. And just to be sure, KO one of your great heroes. That's done. And we've won. The game is over. And now I can do this. Oh, man. That was great. Thank you so much for watching and helping me out. That was a really fun game. Thanks for coming to the uh, first test of my new setup. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked the setup, what I did today, leave a comment on the YouTube video that's gonna that goes up on this. I can't speak. Leave a comment in the Facebook page or YouTube or even Twitch. I don't even know how that works, but uh, that you liked it. Maybe more people will come watch. Oh, um, if you want to guess how many victory points each side got, now's your chance. I think we have a favorite. Yeah, please uh, join the Discord. Um, you'll see the link go up when I uh, switch to the end stream screen. What is the link? It's... Uh, Oh my gosh, I forget. Anyway, you'll see the link popped up. Go to the Discord. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Sorcerer. Um, yeah, you go to the Discord. You can chat with us. Uh, I'll make a new thread for, or just in the in the Bagel Top YouTube page on the Discord. Put in any suggestions you have for things we like, things we didn't like, and I'll do my best to update them. Okay. what? Which side won, left or right? What do you think? Oh, and thank you so much for helping me get to 50 Twitch subscribers. I don't know if that, or 50 Twitch follows. I don't know if that means I get to affiliate, but we'll see. Okay, let's do left first. Here we go. 6, 12, 18, 24, 25, 
46. Do the tactics count as their regular VP? I think so. Yeah. 46 on the left. Yeah, here's the right. 5, 11, 15, 16, 22, 23. Yeah, it's a spy standard. 24, 25, 28, 32, 33, 36, 37. Not as far off as I thought. So 46 on the left, 37 on the right. Still very good. Um, so thank you so much for watching this. I'm going to eliminate the Hydra Elite. Not the Hydra Elite. What were they called? The bad guys. Yeah, Hydra High Council and Master of Tyrants from next game. I will be back here next week, same time on Thursday at 2 p.m. How much was the Hydra card that got KO'd? from the right hand. Did I get it wrong? Oh, oh yes, 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 that one. It was worth it was worth 3. So it wouldn't have made up the difference, but it would have been closer. Did anybody not get to see the master strike and scheme twist effects cuz I'll play them right now so you can see them. Raise your hand if you haven't seen them. Okay, if you didn't get to see them, here's the Scheme Twist. And here is the Master Strike. The counters are going up, but I don't care. Okay, and here's why I have to update the Mastermind hit. That's it. So I gotta do something better for that. But writing out Mastermind Strike doesn't really sound good, so I gotta figure that out. Um, okay. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I didn't get to do this, but transform. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put up the end stream screen. If you go to the Discord link that you see, you can join our Discord, give me suggestions, chat about upcoming expansions, MCU stuff, whatever. And uh, I always love chatting with you guys. Until next time, take care everybody. I will see you next week, 2 p.m. Pacific.